डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री वनस्थली विद्यापीठ राजस्थान एंड डॉक्टर अजय सिंह डीन रिसर्च प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री उत्तरांचल यूनिवर्सिटी देहरादून द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ दिस सेशन इज डॉक्टर एम पी गौतम आई फील प्रिवलेज टू इंट्रोड्यूस मिस्टर एम पी डॉक्टर एम पी गौतम डॉक्टर एम पी गौतम इज प्रोफेसर श्री वैष्णव विद्यापीठ विश्वविद्यालय इंदौर डॉक्टर एम पी गौतम इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर कंप्लीटेड हिज पी एच डी एट द फॉर्मर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सागर नाउ नोन एज डॉक्टर हरी सिंह गौर यूनिवर्सिटी सागर He began his career as an assistant professor at University of Sagar not lo long after receiving his PhD. In 1976 Dr Gautam started working at the State Forensic Science Lab where he held prominent positions like joint director and director. In Raipur Chhattisgarh he is the first and founding director of the State Forensic Science Laboratory. In addition to this Dr Gautam created the department of forensic science at guru gasi das central university in bilaspur and held the position of professor of forensic sciences he is a fellow of kolkata based institution of Ke chemist and at the member and the chartered chemist of the london based royal institute of chemistry several scientific sessions at national and international conferences and seminars were pre uh, presided uh, over by him Dr Gautam has given numerous talks at universities across India as well as number of uh, police academies and judicial training institutes affiliated with the High Court of Madhya Pradesh in Chhattisgarh while spending 36 years of working at Madhya Pradesh in Chhattisgarh Forensic Sciences Laboratory he has served as chemical examiner for the governments of Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh assisted in the preparation of thousands of forensic reports for submission to the courts and testified as a government expert witness in numerous trials dr gautam investigated a number of cases referred by the excise department of madhya pradesh and chatisgarh for his uh, perseverance and dedication dr gautam has received a number of awards including the lifetime achievement award from the indian academy of forensic science kolkata in 2012 the director excellence award and the ministry of home affairs in 2005 and the union home ministers award for excellent services in forensic chemical sciences in 2004 he is a renowned academician who has mentored numerous mphil students and five scholars toward the, their phds in addition to being forensic scientist degrees were successfully conferred by uh, uh, pandit ravi shankar shukla university in raipur and the dr hari singh gaur a central university of sagar madhya pradesh currently three phd students are working under his supervision he has more than 100 research papers that have been published in reputable journals both domestically and internationally additionally he has written two books and presented more than 50 research papers at different conferences additionally he has 30 uh, general essay to his credit that have ap appeared in reputable journals and top newspapers he is currently employed by shri vaishnav vidyapeet vishwavidyalaya indore as a professor of forensic sciences i welcome you so thank you Today we have an interactive session on exploring new dimensions in chemistry. It gives me immense ple uh, immense pleasure uh, pleasure to introduce our first speaker of this session, Dr. Vinod Kumar uh, Kumar Tiwari sir. Presently, sir is professor organic chemistry department of chemistry Institute of Science Banaras Hindu University Varanasi. Sir has completed his PhD from CSIR CDRI awarded by JNU. uh and masters from the Bana banaras hindu university sir uh, sir has uh, included uh, yeah mr sir ko bula dena sir was a lecturer in bundelkhand university jhansi uh, in 2005 to uh, 2005 from 2005 he has received a post doctoral fellowship from university of florida usa Sir is sir also worked as assistant professor department of chemistry BHU Varanasi in Delhi during the period of uh, till 2017 and a visiting fellow in 2007 to 8 in University of California uh, as a guest scientist in 2009 to 10 in University of Constance Germany and right now as a uh, professor in department of chemistry institute of sciences Banaras Hindu University when we talk about the research contributions so, so the number of publications around 161 with the h index of 40 citation 6600 and if that is 592 the patents under sir uh, awarded that are uh, 08 uh, 8 book chapters 21 books 
invited lectures sir have given 2000 uh, sorry 204 phd supervised 13 research projects seven completed so the research interest of are of organic synthesis synthetic carbohydrate chemistry click chemistry glycodendrimers uh, then medicinal chemistry sir is also the secretary of acct uh, from 2019 to till date sir is the editor of trends carbohydrate research current organic chemistry elsewhere carbohydrate in drug discovery and development molecules etc the awarded and honors which are awarded some of the selected i have that like listed in top 2% scientist ranking worldwide for the year 2021 chemical research society of india bronze medal for the year 2021 the most productive researcher award 2019 banaras hindu university excellence in carbohydrate research award 2019 dr s s uh, daish pande award 2016 for the high impact contribution in chemistry first professor uh, professor and roy award for the excellence in carbohydrate chemistry 2015 professor a s r anjaneu uh, ulu 60th birthday uh, commemoration award 2014 chemical research society of india young scientist award 2012 Dr Ganesham uh, Shrivastava medal 2012 Indian Chemical Society first Dr SC Shrivastava award 2012 ACCT professor RC Shah memorial lecture award 2011 iska Dr Arvind Kumar memorial award 2010 Indian Council of Chemist young scientist award 2010 UP Council of Science and Technology young investigator prize, uh, prize ICRA BTS 2004 offered for the lecturer BU Dr D S uh, Bhakuni award 2004 Indian Chemical Society qualified net CSI, uh, CSIR UGC set Maharashtra net ARS get etc Today sir is going to uh, talk about the click chemistry inspires glycoconjugates of great chemoenzymatic values uh, May I request you sir to hand over the session to you Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Sir. Okay. Thank you very much. So, first of all, I would like to say my sincere thanks to uh, Dibya Tomar for uh, such a kind introduction, okay. and uh, I would like to say my again thanks to Dr. Kavita Sharma, Professor Kavita Sharma, and Supriya Bias uh, for inviting me to participate in this uh, conference, uh, online conference, Professor. mp gautam sir for uh, uh, as, as a director of this institute i think sbis and uh, of course i would like to say my sincere thanks to the professor upinder sir who sent me invitation so i first of all congratulate the organizer for selecting such a beautiful uh, event the name of the event is what the ankuran ankuran has own meaning if i talk about the ankuran it will take more than 2 3 hours so I, i i understand how beautifully they selected the uh, the topic ankuran and ankuran means uh, the exploring new dimension in chemistry and chemistry the central science so this is central means useful for the botany zoology biotechnology forensic science many many field physics no field is untouched where the chemistry is not even the mathematics so uh, the topic is very nice very very good. so i am working in on the different aspect of the carbohydrate chemistry since last 20 years the mainly i cover the development of sugar based molecule for some diseases for example tuberculosis uh, radio immunotherapy radio immune imaging mri agent some part of the total synthesis i also covered in my laboratory benzotriazole ring cleavage methodology we discovered in our laboratory a uh, very fantastic sub topic is the benzotriazole ring cleavage chemistry a click reaction is glyco science supported by csir then supported by serv where i we made a number of molecules glycodendrimers very potent molecules 
recently one project uh, csir sub sanction for the novel glycosylation methodology which is going to be end uh, next time i will discuss this part glycosylation methodology what i did and uh, one part of the research is decentrally supported by the serb which is a uh, focus for the chemoenzymatic synthesis of complex sialic acid containing molecules of great thermotropic potential today i will discuss the copper catalyzed azide alkyl cycloaddition reaction which is known as the cua click reaction Click reaction means the reaction which is very easy to perform in the laboratory. That is click reaction. Where this reaction is supported for the synthesis of glyco conjugates. I covered the glyco hybrids as well as the glyco dimers. But before that, you you know that uh, the carbohydrate is very important for us. For example, for others, this is simply a rose. You know the meaning of the color of this red rose. very beautiful colors but we people can't enjoy the color because of some reasons whenever we see the beautiful this rose we have opinion that this this flower contains the anthocyanidin glycosylated and uh, this color is because of this compound only the sugary role is yeah the another beautiful example you see rco nh2 reacts with the potassium hydroxide and bromine it gives amine a very fantastic fundamental reaction known as the hoffman or hoffman bromide reaction hoffman rearrangement you must study in the in the inter class so uh, if the bromine is living group the reaction is known as the hoffman if acetate is living group reaction is known as the larsen if nitrogen is living group reaction is courteous or ischemic but nature the all these four reactions were basically inspired by the nature uh, hoffman lessen courteous schemic and how nature inspired them this is you see here. the sine green you know the sine green mustard oil sine green contains this thioglycoside which underwent the hydrolysis it gives this intermediates at this intermediate the sulfate is living group in this case because the conjugate base of the sulfuric acid the allyl group can migrate from carbon to nitrogen once migrate the sulfate is removed it lead to the formation of allyl isothiocyanate very bitter test and that's why you 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 told you you just know that mustard oil is a kalwa kalwa lagta hai reason is this one because the compound form is the allyl isothiocyanate which is bitter test another beautiful example you see the broccoli or green vegetable your grandfather grandmother always always suggesting you please take green vegetable in your diet not only the potato right so people are not students are or our kids are not happy with the green vegetable i know i know but please follow the instruction of your grandfather because they are smarter than you you are smarter in the technology mobile many jaan but they are more smarter than you in the for the health issue you know the broccoli contains this thioglycoside which underwent the similar type of the carbon to nitrogen migration it lead to the formation of the sulfora which is not in nothing else this is anti cancer drugs so remember when we are eating the broccoli or green vegetable you are eating anti cancer why well, you can i can tell you that you can protect yourself from cancer by using green vegetable in your diet because green vegetable are rich source of the thioglycoside the another beautiful example you see on the top is, that is the arabinose sugar being glycosylated uh, the the o related and uh, this is the o glycosides oxygen linkage there beta o glycosides and uh, this compound is known as the lernin lernin is a sex pheromone produced by the female gametes exactly 19 uh, 25 26 year before this was isolated but the but you know that this compound attracts the male gametes at the concentration 10 or minus 12 molar one of the compound which is responsible for falling in love so role of sugar is there and this compound is even dangerous because you know once you are in love you are not useful at all total bekar ho gaya kyunki your mind is not working the another beautiful example you see the cell currents this this is the ribose sugar here is the uh, adenosine and there is a tripeptide this is known as atp adenosine triphosphate i you know the you you need the rupee dollar pound euro for your survival but cell also need some currency not the dollar or not the rupees they want this currency what is the adenosine triphosphate atp and this compound is known as the cell currency because the, all the reaction is start from this one only from the in the cell and the john walker who along with the two other scientists they he he solved the structure of atp synthetase enzymes involved for this synthesis and he was awarded with the nobel prize in 1997 and the human person i will ask you students se puchta hu ek din mein kitna aap atp banate hain lecture ke baad jawab dijiyega 
Now the interesting thing is what? This is the sugar, the glycosylated here, the O glycoside, one two linkage, the glucose and fructose linked together by alpha one two linkage. This is known as the sucrose. Ab ganne mein isko khate hain. Bahut hi meetha hai, right? Bahut hi mister. But you know the 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 if you remove this OH three OH, it lead to the formation of sucralose, one of the compound which is uh, which is the sweetener, the artificial sweetener, and this is six hundred times sweeter than the sucrose. अब आपका घर वाले आपसे बार बार पूछते होंगे इंडियन ने क्या दिया क्या दिया बताओ आपके पास जवाब ही नहीं होता है क्या क्या बोल अब आज मैं बताता हूं जब घर जाइएगा तो अपने पिताजी से बोलिएगा इंडियन ने क्या दिया दिस इज द पर्सन हु इज नोन एज द शशिकांत फनाडिस फ्रॉम इंडिया कैलिफोर्निया एंड ही आस्क Sasikan tested, tested about this compound, sucralose. When I will be back, I want to see the status of this compound. After three days, he asked Sasikan, "How was the compound?" And Sasikan, what understood? Test means T A S T pronunciation mistake. So he just told, "Sir, it was very tasty." So he was afraid because the project was made for the insecticidal activity, little bit poisonous, but he was totally safe. So after three four hours, he again asked Sasikan, "How was the compound?" And Sasikan bring the compound, put in the spatula, put deep inside the mouth. Uh, sir, I told you the compound is very tasty. So this was the accidental discovery in 1976 when I born, but nothing connection with my date of birth or this discovery. मेरा जन्म से इसका कोई लेना देना नहीं है आप इसको mind मत करो. Ah, but the beautiful thing is what all the accident discovery, most of the accidental discovery are. आपके लिए फायदेमंद दिस वाज वन ऑफ देम सक्रीन वाज डिस्कवर विद द सरेंडिपिटी यू सी दिस इज ए स्पार्टिक एसिड डेरिवेटिव स्पार्टम 200 टाइम्स स्वीटर दैन सुक्रोज नथिंग बट एलिटियम इज 2000 टाइम्स स्वीटर दैन सुक्रोज एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द ब्यूटीफुल कंपाउंड डिस्कवर्ड एग्जैक्टली 6 इयर बिफोर फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लियोन फ्रांस एंड व्हाट दे डिस्कवर्ड दैट लुगडुनेम इज 225000 टाइम्स स्वीटर दैन सुक्रोज नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द सिंथेटिक केमिस्ट फॉर योर लाइफ और फॉर योर सोसाइटी अब ये कंपाउंड इतना मीठा है दो लाख पच्चीस हजार गुना ज्यादा अब आपको अगर मैं ये कंपाउंड दे दू दो ग्राम तो आप अपने इंदौर के जो यूनिवर्सिटी है उसमें आप टंक में डाल देंगे वाटर टैंक में दो ग्राम तो इनफ है आपके पूरे फैकल्टी को शरबत और स्टूडेंट को शरबत पिलाने के लिए सो नथिंग मतलब इसमें ब्यूटी क्या है कंपाउंड कंपाउंड The another thing is, you know, this compound is uh, known as the vinylate. You know the importance in a, in a, a vinyl ice cream. Both a beautiful compound, and I, I like this vinyl ice cream. And only one group change: OH is at the meta, OME at the para. This compound is known for the whisky formation. Only little change. The the problem uh, means uh, no useful for the kid now. And you know, vanillin ice cream. This is no useful. I don't like it. आइसक्रीम पिघल गया तो वो अब लस्सी हो गया लस्सी मैं नहीं चाहता मैं आइसक्रीम चाहता हूँ फॉर दैट व्हाट वी नीड वी कैन यूज द स्टेबलाइजर एल्जीनिक एसिड जस्ट पुट द ओनली जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू परसेंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू परसेंट ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट और दिस इज सफिशियंट टू जस्ट स्टेबलाइज दिल आइसक्रीम और एनी अदर आइसक्रीम फॉर योर यूज एंड पीपुल ऑलवेज टेल दैट केमिस्ट्री वट इज केमिस्ट्री आई विल टेल यू वन थिंग आई एम फाइन ऑफ द कपिल देव जब से उसने खेलना बंद किया कपिल देव ने मैंने देखना बंद कर दिया क्रिकेट अब मैं बहुत अच्छा बैट्समैन था मैच कभी नहीं जिताया लेकिन मेरे बैटिंग देखने के लिए मेरे जब हाई स्कूल में पढ़ता था बहुत लोग आते थे कि मैं किसी शॉट को कहीं मारता था मेरा ये मैच जिताने के लिए मैं खेलता ही नहीं था क्योंकि वो जिससे खेल रहा वो भी तो मेरा मित्र ही है कौन सा पाकिस्तान का है कि मैं मैच खेल एनी तो एक बार मैं मैच देख देख रहा था डिनर के टाइम मेरा बेटा नहीं था एंड वाट ही टोल्स महेंद्र सिंह धोनी वाज इन इन दर कमेंट्री साइड and what he told there is a very good chemistry between mahendra singh dhoni and biren sawa amna jot singh siddhu ne ka maine computer nikala aur dekha ki kya no jot singh siddhu aur biren sawa aur mahendra singh dhoni chemistry ke student the kahin aapke university ke to nahi the lekin pata chala nahi the tab mujhe samajh mein aaya ki chemistry is such a fundamental or, or such a fantastic subject that when you can apply in the cricket ab kahin bhi a cricket and, and chemistry is very very Old one. लोगों को लगता है बॉटनी ओल्ड है नो 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 केमिस्ट्री इज इवन मोर ओल्डर दैन बॉटनी यू नो द वन श्लोका इन द हनुमान चालीसा राइट राम रसायन तुम्हारे पासा 
सदा रहो रघुपति के दास अब रसायन वर्ड इज देयर केमिस्ट्री इज देयर अब अब तुलसीदास को तो आप नहीं पूछ सकते हैं कि भाई रसायन कहाँ से है वो तो जानते थे राइट ही वॉज राइटर ग्रेट राइटर सो द केमिस्ट्री स्टार्ट इन इन योर किचन आल्सो वेन यू चप दिन केमिस्ट्री स्टार्ट आप रोने लगते हैं क्यों महंगा है ओनियन महंगा इसलिए रोते हैं नहीं महंगा नहीं है महंगे के चलते नहीं रोते बिकॉज वेन यू कट द ओनियन द कंपाउंड दिस कंपाउंड कंटेंट्स द ओनियन कंटेंट दिस कंपाउंड विच अंडर वन टू स्टेप इन जेमेटिक रिएक्शन इट गिव्स दिस कंपाउंड प्रोपेन थायल एस ऑक्साइड अब दिस कंपाउंड इज वेरी इरिटेटिंग इन नेचर बट योर मादर इज सो स्मार्ट वो आपकी माँ जो है ना आपसे ज्यादा पढ़ी लिखी है भले वो हाई स्कूल फेल क्यों ना या उसको पता है कि ये कंपाउंड वाटर साली बोल है जस्ट टिप इन वाटर पोर द द ओनियन इनसाइड द वाटर प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व वाटर साली बोल एंड दैट्स व्हाई ये द कीचेन में भी केमिस्ट्री शुरू होता है अब मैं कभी एक बार आऊंगा आपके यहाँ तो एक लेक्चर दूंगा सिंथेटिक केमिस्ट एंड आवर सोसाइटी उसमें मैं बात करूंगा कि कैसे कैसे मोलकुल है जो आपकी एक्टिविटी को प्रभावित करता है आप कैसे कॉन्फिडेंस uh, लेवल है कैसे आप फर्स्टेट होते हैं कैसे गुस्सा आता है सब चीजें केमिस्ट्री का ही है एनी वे सो दिस यू सी द कंपाउंड इज यर द राइबोज शुगर यू नो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ राइबोज इन आर एन ए डिओक्सी राइबोज इन टी एन देर आर सिक्स कार्बन शुगर एट शुगर सिक्स कार्बन शुगर ग्लूकोज गलेक्टोज मैनोज एलोज एल्ट्रोज टैलोज एट शुगर बट देर इज वन मोर शुगर विच नाइदर आप नाइन कार्बन फाइव कार्बन नोर आइव सिक्स कार्बन दिस इज नाइन कार्बन शुगर एंड दिस इज नोन एज द सियालिक एसिड और न्यू फाइव एसिड दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट अबाउंडेंट फॉर्म ऑफ द सियालिक एसिड न्यू फाइव एसिड दिस इज कम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्टर दैन अदर अदर शुगर वेरी कम्प्लेक्स एंड मैं आपको बताऊँ कि दुनिया में जो भी आदमी पॉपुलर है वो बहुत सिंपल है कम्प्लेक्स पर्सन कांट बी पॉपुलर complex song complex reaction complex person no nothing else they can't be popular reaction bhi simple hoga to popular molecule bhi simple hoga to popular what is reason that this compound is complex or this is very popular reason is very simple but you would see in the corona um, epidemic uh, people used two deoxy glucose our uh, one of the user is the, from the director of the uh, drdo lab uh, he is our senior from the bhu Uh, Dr. Anil Kumar Mishra. He did PhD with the uh, from my own department, and what he used this useful for the treatment of the uh, <clears throat> COVID COVID infection. So the sugar is there, and the and the biological information carrier capacity of carbohydrate is better than any other biomolecules. Reason is very simple. If you compare with the nucleotide, nucleoside, or peptides, for the size one, the nucleotides are four. peptides are 20 and carbohydrates are 20 but if you go one more size the value of the carbohydrates are very high if the another size three size are the value much much higher you can't count even and the reason is very simple because there is a possibility for the linkage between donor and the sugars by 1 2 1 or other linkage sometimes one one linkage also there and the not only the, the selectivity alpha or beta linkage not only that the carbohydrates can link together with the proteins glycoproteins glycopeptides glycolipids link with the other biomolecules so there is a lot of possibility for the linkage of carbohydrate with other biomolecules this is one of the simplest structure of the beta uh, of the monosaccharides that is beta d glucopyranoside uh, methyl is here methyl beta and the structure you see only thing that the enameric in this uh, four position oh from equatorial to axial you see, you see the enamer change total change If you have here the mannose, the enamer again very change. And this is the structure of the sialic acid, which I from my laboratory. The sialic acid is structure very little complex than the all the three four structures. <clears throat> so I started my career from CDI Lucknow Central Drug Research Institute. I worked in for the carbohydrate compounds and development of sugar based molecule for tuberculosis and the first reaction of what I did. Very interesting. You see, this compound basically the glycosylated olefinic ester. It started from the glucose by protection, followed by the O benzylation, then uh, then the um, removal of the diol five six, then oxidation, then Wittig reaction, Harner Wolfsworth Immune reaction. It gives this olefinic ester. When we did this reaction under with Michael Edison, we our aim was very nice, very simple. We are planning to have the uh, beta amino ester derivatives being glycosylated because one of the compound marketed not. Marketed exactly. This was returned back from the clinical trials three. This is known as the D cyclosyrin. And our purpose was to have the glycosylation because the sugar is known to 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 um, reduce the toxicity of any molecules and increase the bioavailability or increase the pK value of the any parameters of the carbon. Uh, so when we did, we did this reaction, 
the DBU, in presence of DBU, there is a complete trans uh, migration of alpha, beta to beta, gamma, double bond. And this was the first migration, first type of the migration of the double bond from alpha, beta to beta, gamma. Only one paper, but Professor Govardhan Mehta from IIC Bangalore, he reported, but he was not isolated in the compound. So this was the first time when we discovered, the, invented the migration of double bond from alpha beta to beta gamma. Because I have, I loved my country too much. My India says जब बाहर जाता हूँ मुझे ऐसा कैसे मैं ताला में बंद हो गया हूँ. तो मैं अमेरिका गया तो मैं बहुत जल्द वापस आया. Germany गया तो मैं एक साल के लिए गया. मैं नौ महीने में सारा काम समाप्त करके वापस आ गया. और तीन साल के लिए अमेरिका गया मैंने वहाँ से सात paper, seven paper I published, including in JAX, JBC, glycobiology and biochemistry, and returned back. So uh, I, I, I very happy in my own country. Uh, but uh, therefore, I published this paper. I requested my PIA, Dr. R.P. Tripathi, to publish this paper in the, in the journal, Indian Journal of Chemistry. I started my career from this paper. You see, 2D NMR, sometimes I will discuss the NMR spectroscopy for your student or for faculty, and I will personally visit your lab. So uh, you see, the next example is what? Uh, I made many molecules. For example, the you know, the peptides are very important. And there is, in peptides, there is a bond, amide bond. A amide bond formation is a challenging, not a very, means there is not a one method that acid amine coupling. There are so many methods, but what we start from the aldehyde. Aldehyde reacts with the amine in presence of DIV, anic liquid in chloroform at a room temperature, we can have where the, the very high yield of the desired compounds. We made so many examples of the carbohydrate containing molecules or non sugar also. This work you can go to the literature, you will find in that organic letter published in 2012. Uh, there are so many beautiful compounds we, we developed from. Uh, so, this is uh, again I will discuss sometimes uh, in the separate lecture. I think I give an opportunity for carbohydrates in drug discovery and development. This is one of the compounds which we, we filed patent and then published. Uh, this compound is 10 times better activity than the ethan butol, one of the marketed drugs for tuberculosis. So the, the problem is how we can we can monitor the, the, the stereochemistry, which is here the S or R. So the, the again, the, the, this, this is not very difficult for me, but uh, for, the, for the beginners, this is not easy because the stereochemistry can be confirmed by the, by the single crystal, but we establish the NMR. Uh, to solve the structure of this, because it derives from the glucose and glucose, you know, the 1R, 2R, 3S, 4R. So five position, if there is a seed, uh, so the coupling constant is 5.6, but in my case, the major isomer had 9.6, hertz. therefore that it clearly indicates that the confirmation is yes, because the, the four position, the J45 is basically the, uh, the uh, J45 is 9.6 hertz. So uh, all the spectra you see, this is the one of the patented compound S00240 from the CDRI code. So they have code S00240 means synthetic in 2002 and 40 number compounds. Now the question arises that if the ring oxygen is replaced by nitrogen, what is the name? This is not nothing else. This is the amino sugar or aja sugar. They are very important for, for, the, for the medicinal chemistry point of view because they are alpha glucosidase inhibitor, useful for the treatment of the non-insulin dependent diabetes inhibitors too. And not only that, they can inhibit the interaction between viral enveloped glycoprotein and cell protein receptors. In this way, the compound should be as useful useful for the treatment of the viral disease. But it starts from this the same uh, olefinic ester. What we did, Michael Addison, followed by the reduction. Then we can cyclize this amino alcohol under Miss Nebu condition. We can have here the glycosyl agitidine. Once we have this compound, then we remove this isoplatinum by using the TFA. And then O-benzyl, N-benzyl can be removed by hydrogen platinum carbon demethylation. And then after once the NS is free, the, it can attach to this anomeric position. It can be cyclized, underwent the reductive amination. It gives this compound, which is nothing else, the bicyclic amino sugar. And this compound, basically, the amino sugar is derived from the isolated from the mulberry tree, Satur Jarte in Australia, this was the first time I studied. And you know, Satur is very useful if you want to cure diabetes. And that's why I say that every seasonal fall is necessary. Even Kharbuja is necessary. Kharbuja has IPC3, IPC3, inositol, phosphate. And what does it do? It helps to escape the calcium ion from the calcium ion channels in the cell. And that's why it's useful for different diseases. Every fall should be used. It's very difficult. In India, it's very difficult. In India, it's very difficult. Otherwise, it's not. So uh, this is the work which I did in Banaras Hindu University from my lab and published in the RSC advances. And now the question arises, 
कि सिंपल कंपाउंड बहुत यूजफुल होता है बिल्कुल हाँ व्हाट अबाउट दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड मैं आपको बताऊ जो आदमी सिंपल है वो बहुत अच्छा है महात्मा गांधी लाल बहादुर शास्त्री पंडित मालवीय मदन मोहन मालवीय अब्राहम लिंकन सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स आई कैन गिव बट यू कांट गिव वन एग्जाम्पल वेर दर्सन इज कम्प्लेक्स एंड इज वेरी फेमस नो कभी नहीं हो सकता जो इंसान सिंपल होना इतना आसान नहीं है और दुनिया में ऐसा कोई यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं है जो किसी को सिंपल बना सके स्मार्ट बनाने के लिए तो साइकिलो यूनिवर्सिटी लेकिन ये कंपाउंड इतना कॉम्प्लेक्स होने के बाद यूजफुल है रीजन इज वेरी सिंपल यू सी इन द सेल देर इज अड बाई लेयर लिपिड बाई लेयर इन द इन द लिपिड बाई लेयर देर आर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ द कंपाउंड अटैच टूगेदर एंड इवन दैट द कंपाउंड थाउजेंड्स नंबर ऑफ कंपाउंड आर थाउजेंड्स देर इज अ लास्ट टर्मिनल ट्रेन अब ट्रेन कितना भी लंबा होगा लास्ट बोगी तो होगा ही होगा और लास्ट बोगी में कौन बैठता है गार्ड अब गार्ड क्या करता है सिग्नल देता है सिग्नल देगा तो क्या होगा ट्रेन चलेगा अब ट्रेन चलेगा मतलब गार्ड बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है लास्ट बोगी में बैठने से उसको आप कभी हल्के में मत लीजिएगा कि वो कुछ नहीं करता है वो तो बस सिग्नल दिखाता है हरा और रेड वो तो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है जितनी जितनी अहमियत ड्राइवर की होता है गार्ड की होती है इसीलिए द लास्ट पार्ट इज द इज द टर्मिनल एंड अदर सियालिक एसिड इधर को पाई जाए टर्मिनल एंड दैट्स वाई देर नोन एज द टर्मिनल इसको सियालिक एसिड को टर्मिनल शुगर ही बोलते हैं पाई जाए टर्मिनल एंड इट कंट्रोल्स ऑल द मोलिकुलर रिकॉग्निशन फेनोमेना सब यही करता है कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन इंट्रेक्शन इज द बेसिक ऑफ द ड्रग डिस्कवरी एंड डेवलपमेंट पहला स्टेप ही है अब सीढ़ी में पहला स्टेप अगर आप सोचे कि भाग जाए बिल्डिंग में चढ़ी नहीं सकते तो कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन इंट्रेक्शन दैट्स वाई दे आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अब इसके ऊपर मैं कभी अलग से एक लेक्चर दूंगा ये सारा स्लाइड एक एक घंटे का लेक्चर है तो देखिए अब कैसे हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर दिस यलिक एसिड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस नाइन कार्बन सो नाइन कार्बन इज आवर टारगेट एंड सिक्स कार्बन इज आवर हैंड Manoz or manac derivative. We can have here the three carbon missing. Nothing else. This is pyruvic acid. But six carbon plus three carbon we can use in presence of the aldolase enzyme. Uh, aldolase क्या करता है अलग story है. लेकिन थोड़ी देर पहले मैं आपको एक बात बताऊँ. आपने inter class में भी action पढ़ाया था. Aldol condensation. There is alpha hydrogen which removes by the base or even in acid catalyzed. It can attach to the another mode of aldehyde. It can give the aldol. The similar reaction is, is we we perform in the uh, in in the my laboratory, and we use not the acid or base. We can use here the aldolase enzymes. Enzymes are very smart. Ham se to bahut jada smart. Sara phenomena blood me, sarir me enzyme hi karta hai. And then uh, this because of enzymatic, the carbonyl formation it can attack here. This OH three OH is can attack back. And there is a cyclization which lead to the formation of the eight methyl nonamic acid. If we start from five. अब नौवा पे चाहिए तो क्या करना होगा इधर सिक्स पे जोड़ना पड़ेगा और जितना आसानी से मैंने कहा इतना आसान रिएक्शन नहीं है इतना आसान नहीं होता तो फिर पांच साल नहीं लगता ये बताने में कि मैकेनिज्म क्या जा रहा है दिस वर्क इज पब्लिश इन द बायो केमिस्ट्री मैकेनिज्म पार्ट दिस वर्क बेसिकली एट स्टेप इज रिपोर्टेड प्रीवियसली बट वी कम्प्लीटेड इन वन स्टेप द इल्ड वॉज फॉर फ्रॉम फाइव परसेंट टू इम्प्रूव इन एटी सिक्स और एटी एट परसेंट नाउ द क्वेश्चन हाउ वी कैन है टू टू थ्री लिंकेज इन दियालो साइड No problem at all. We can start from the manoz or manac derivatives. We can have here the first enzyme aldolase, the second enzyme CST, uh, CMP, sialic acid synthetase, which make the living groups cited in monophosphate. Once this is the living group, then we can use the third enzyme that is known as the sialyl transferase, alpha two three sialyl transferase, which link the donor acceptor by alpha two two three linkage. The beauty of the reaction is what we can. Add all the enzymes together in one part. Yes, sir. One with the other, add it. And the compound, the yield is not less than ninety percent. In some cases, the yield is hundred percent quantitative. And there is no need of any protection, de-protection, and no need of any trouble. The enzymes are biocompatible, compatible, and uh, uh, very regioselective, chemoselective, as well as the stereoselective. Only alpha compound. So this is uh, alpha selectivity in the sialo side. If you want to have the two six linkage, no problem at all. We can change the third enzyme that is known as the photobacterium demacella alpha two six sialic transferase. Then uh, the how we can uh, identify which compound is the which one alpha two three or no problem. You see this T three position is seventy two point five eight delta uh, ppm uh, for the in in the thirteen C. If you just after sialization. And this three position is downfilled by 3.24 ppm and it clearly indicates that the select the linkage is going at the three position if you have at the six position no problem again you compare the nmr data here the 60.91 it after the glycosylation it gives the 63.22 
So, uh, and the application of this, this protocol is what we can use the, the reaction, performing the reaction in microarrays. For example, this sugar, you know, the, the black backbones, the galactose backbone when we used, and this backbone basically terminating at the sugar terminal at the galactose, and then fluorescent linker is this one, and then we can have here the amino functionality. We use the reaction one part multi-enzyme synthesis. We developed the 77 analogs, and out of 77 analogs, three were known to bind to the human virus. So here, yeah, this work is published in the Journal of Biological Chemistry. I will tell you my biology part is extremely, extremely poor. My high school in biology may fail hote hote Uske baad math background se maine padhai kiya bahut khush tha. Lekin jab main PhD join kiya to mujhe biology mein karna padta. To kisi bhi cheez se bhage na, jitna bhagenge utna wo dod aayega, pareshan kar dega. To apni weakness ko pehchane aur uske upar attack kar de. Jitna jaldi. You attack matlab wo border wali attack nahi. Attack matlab usko padhe raat din raat din padhe kitna din wo mushkil karega, kuch nahi karega. Anyway, so start from this one. Our target is two to eight linkage. Now, how we can develop this compound? No problem. We use the fourth enzyme that is known as the CST2. And this linkage alpha two to eight linkage. And then we, if you want to have the pentasaccharide, no problem at all. Again, repeat the reaction. We can end up with this pentasaccharide. This work is published in the Journal of American Chemi uh, Chemical Society, JEX. And 36 analogs we prepared the tetrasaccharide or pentasaccharide analogs. And this is beautiful uh, paper. Please read it. Very nice paper. Uh, so how we can uh, say that the compound is formed? The, again, the NMR, the one is NMR and 30 and mass is of course, mass is of course. Then, of, then after we use the other enzyme, alkyne and, and the azide, click reaction. We followed by the enzymatic reaction, then click reaction, then followed by enzymatic reaction. We can have this compound, azide group is at the one end, alkyne group is at the second end, end. then we use the intramolecular click reaction. Copper iodide, dipyride, acetonitide, water one is to one, water. And this gives the beautiful compound, which is the microcycle having the sugar cyanides. So I used, I started working on this in, in the click reaction, here the azide and here the alkyne, then we can couple together in presence of copper catalysis, the reaction is very, very regioselective. 100% regioselective, no problem, no other side product. And in most of the cases, even you are, you, the, the reaction is, so since the reaction is a, a quantitative conversion, that's why there is no need of any column chromatograph. And the time we can, uh, we can just reduce from hours to minute, day to minute, not hours. Previously, it was, it takes more than two or three days, but now you can complete the reaction 10 minute time. If you do the reaction in microwave under catalysis, the reaction is even more, more uh, short, very, very precise. So this work we published in the chemical reviews in 2016, one of the beautiful chem review articles. 156 page long article. Um, and now the question is that Sarpless or Meldon, who discovered the click reaction? I used, I go to the literature and found that Michael was the person who discovered the click reaction exactly the 110 years before the Sarpless in 2002. And Michael is not known for this invention, actually. He, he of course, doesn't use the catalysis, but the first reaction was carried by Michael, and the second example is carried by the VT. I, he was awarded with the Nobel, therefore, he, he has only the fascinating interest for the VT reaction or phosphorus and therefore, he one paper, he published one paper, I, and then forget. After 70 years, the third paper appears by Rolf Hookson, who discovered, who investigated more than 60, 70 beautiful papers. And then after Sarpolis, and Meldon in 2002 discovered the click reaction. But the problem again, you see here, Michael was from the, Michael, he did MS PhD with the Hoffman, postdoc with Urz, then postdoc with the, with the, uh, in the Russia, and then uh, again postdoc with the, in, in the Russia, three Nobel laureates. And then he returned back to, again joined the Hoffman, the Germany, and then he returned back to the uh, own country, America, and he has no job. You can imagine, we are not alone, we are suffering, we are suffering. The big people are all the time suffering from us, then we will become bigger. The day Bhagavan Chandra got the king of Ramachandra, that day he got the king of Ramachandra. It was so big. But it was so big for them, because if they didn't go, then the king of Ramachandra would not become the king of Ramachandra. Struggle is our life. 
अगर जिंदगी में स्ट्रगल नहीं मिला तो समझो कि लाइफ में कुछ नहीं अब मैं इसको मानता हूं सो यू सी द माइकल डिस्कवर्ड दिस रिएक्शन अल्जाइथल मेलोनेट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ बेस देयर इज अ कार्बोनाइल फॉर्मेशन इट कैन अटैच टू दिस माइकल एक्सेप्टर इट गिव्स एडक आई दिस पेपर पब्लिशिंग 1887 अब लोगों ने कहा ये माइकल डिस्कवरी है माइकल एडिशन है लेकिन जरा सरप्राइजिंग देखिएगा अ प्रोफेसर कोनोनस डिस्कवर्ड द सेम रिएक्शन 4 ईयर बिफोर 9 1883 सौ साल बाद कपिल देव ने वर्ल्ड कप लाया था 1983 में आ ये तो बेचारा मतलब चार साल पहले ही इन्होंने विटिक इन से 1887 से काम इसको किया सेम और बट ही वाज नॉट मींस पॉपुलर नो फेमस कोई जानता ही नहीं प्रोफेसर कोनोमास और जबकि एक्चुअल डिस्कवरी माइकल का यही है माइकल एडिसन और समस्या यह है कि माइकल का नाम उसके लिए है जो उन्होंने किया नहीं और माइकल का नाम उसके लिए नहीं है जो उन्होंने किया है जैसे गोंथ्री डाइपोलोसाइट और एडिसन अब ये तो अब हमारी जिम्मेदारी बनती है कि जब कभी हम कोई राइटिंग करें इतना डीप अंडरस्टैंडिंग रखें सब्जेक्ट का कि एक-एक लाइन इंपॉर्टेंट हो ये मेरी जिम्मेदारी बनती है कोई एक लाइन रॉन्ग ना जाने पाए पब्लिकेशन सो नाउ व्हेन आई ज्वाइन बीएचयू आई स्टार्टेड this reaction the first reaction a jide and alkyne yet together in presence of the copper catalysis it gives the trazole uh, because i have affinity with the with the carbohydrate i used with the reaction with the mannose or the lactose or glucose so two examples we completed in uh, from the bhu but before that the three papers one by one appears in the organic letter or or uh, tetrahedron or, or obc by rc lorac group a same chemistry they di- discovered but not with the carbohydrate carbohydrate i used so but the novelty is out then what i did uh, i was teaching bsc class and then i idea i had one that amine kind by diazotize followed by coupling then there is a possibility for the cyclization what i did the same thing you start from ortho halo amine then first diazotize then in relation there is a cyclization by intramolecular copper iodide and cesium carbonate in dmf it led to the formation of benzotriazole and this compound basically we published this work in the tetrad and later i was very happy but after one year you see the one, one more research the one person from professor rain from china what he did the starting material is same product is same base is same dmf solvent is same temperature is same everything is same only thing that copper iodide was replaced by the platinum acetate his paper published in the jacks so it happens it happens now my mentor asked me that benzene fuse with triazole very difficult to clip because the once the benzene fuse uh, the fusion it makes the compound more stable i took as a challenge that i i struggle a lot for this cleavage chemistry and then in presence of this sugar link uh, or csbt and he reacted with the tributyl tin hydride under fitting condition in toline and the nmr this is the product nothing changed looks like but you see the all the four proton proton for the 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 pattern system is different in the product here the two signals are separated far separated here they are merged in the product these two are separated but again here they merge and the sugar proton this this from this region to this one they merge together so uh, this clearly indicates that something happens and then we do check the hrms data which is 28 less than the mz of the starting rate then confirmed by the single crystal x ray this clearly indicates that the cyclization via cleavage chemistry happens so mechanism is very easy to perform because you see this compound under heating with the tributyl tin hydride there is a homolysis once there is a homolysis the radical is generated and this radical the molecular nitrogen can be removed in it formation the it, it gives the compound bi radical once there is a bi radical they join together by means of the because they are reactive it gives the benzo triazole so starting from benzo triazole we can have the benzo triazole in a one part fashion and this work is published in the journal of organic chemistry joc by american chemical society after one year again we modified the protocol and published the same paper in the journal of organic chemistry second paper we modified the protocol one by one rco beta and so many beautiful publication we have with this area again i will if given opportunity i will discuss the benzo triazole in cleavage chemistry as a separate lectures only the three four slides so uh, these are the some of the work from my lab so aur ye kaam jo hai judici ne diya only 6 lakh rupees start aur 6 mein to 3 lakh diya hai 3 lakh to diya bhi nahi aur 3 lakh rupees mein maine ye kaam kiya hai which is and then start from this you know the 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 alkyne and the here is aldehyde we reacts together by means of the 
uh, copper catalysis, we can have it the triazole forming reaction. Disaccharide is there linked with the triazole. Then PMB group from the sixth position can be removed by means of the DDQ. Once the OH is free, it can attach to this intramuscular person uh, by using the n hydroxyanamide in presence of the TFLA TMS as a catalyst. It led to the formation of 15 member microcycle with the beta cell activity, only beta, not alpha. And uh, you see the NMR is very clear, but HRMS data, you see the starting product is here, 1156, 120 mass is uh, removed from this uh, PMB group. Uh, it leads to the formation of the confirmed by the, the HRMS data. Again, after the uh, cyclization, the S phenyl SH group will really removes. It leads to the formation of this microcycle, the HRMS data is here. Uh, we perform the, uh, the reaction. You see the 2D NMR is yet uh, another story that why, how the NMR useful for the for the characterization of the carbohydrate again one hour one hour lecture i will discuss in future but uh, we completed the synthesis with different sugar at a different position different microcycle with alpha or beta selectivity sometimes alpha sometimes beta sometimes mixture of the product is formed alpha beta we have separated together and uh, uh, published this result in european journal of Parliament. Then you see, start from the sugar alkyne, we can have the epichlorohydrin in presence of copper catalysis. It gives a triazole forming reaction, being the uh, diol, agido alcohol. Once the alcohol can be propagulated under heating condition, it gives a triazole forming. Again, the 1,5 triazole forming reaction fused with the marpolin. So, beauty of this reaction is what? We can have here the 1,4 disulfide triazole, 1,5 disulfide triazole together. And not only that, the marpolin fused triazoles, uh, there are two or three compounds which are marketed for the drug as a drug and they contain the marpolin fused triazoles. Uh, then we modified the protocols by using the uh, different uh, catalytic condition, metal free condition, uh, the reaction works equally well. Uh, this compound is useful for the uh, delivery of the, for easy access of the biologically relevant uh, uh, scaffold, for example, the uh, thiazolidine to thione or oxazolidine to thiones. Uh, this reaction you see, very nice reaction, but someone reported that this is a 1,4 disubstituted triazole from the America. And what, when we repeat this, found that 1,5 disubstituted triazoles. When uh, this work we submitted, for the publication, I requested editor, please invite that person from the United States. And surprisingly, I got the decision in only the 36 hours. We, we completed many beautiful examples in the paper published in the carbohydrate research, like a conjugate journal, again, like conjugate journal, stroidal, many paper, carbohydrate chemistry select, RSC advances. And uh, this is the, you know, the of him, you know, the of him. And the, from the of him, it, this compound is known as the isolated as a noscopy. Out of these th three methoxy group, one we can remove by selectively, then propagation followed by click reaction, we can have here the uh, glycoconjugate noscopy. Out of 13 analogs, four were known to uh, display very good activity against cancer, and two were supposed, two were displayed potent activity than the, against the Lesman Kalajar. And this compound basically, uh, curcumin, you know, is healthy. Uh, curcumin, the problem is, uh, the compound is very nice, no problem at all. But the problem is water solubility or, or availability, bioavailability. For that, what we did, we just uh, propagulate followed by click, and then sugar is there, removes the acetate grip protection by using the, under basic condition, sodium methoxide in methanol, and we can have here the click inspired curcumin glycoconjugates. And this compound is 11,000 times more water soluble than the parent compounds. Displayed very good activity against the antibacterial and as well as the anti uh, biofilm activity. This compound we published, uh, we tried, but for the catalysis, but catalysis doesn't work. Abhi kaam nahi kiya, to humne isko, uh, nature scientific report published. Again, there are so many beautiful compounds which displayed the triazole, 1415. They displayed the very potent activity against the tuberculosis. And this is basically what we have here the uh, enameric uh, five position agi, because many examples were displayed that the agi at the five position of the glucofurinose they displayed very good activity against the uh, tuberculosis. Cell wall biosynthesis inhibitors, basically, the peptidoglycan biosynthesis or, or, um, or aminosyl transfer enzyme activity. So for that, what we need, actually the, the triazoles are isoester of the, of the amides. For that, we just, anyhow, we have to put here the agide. But uh, agides, when we tried, 
टेन टूल्व एग्जाम्पल टाइम नो रिएक्शन कहीं नहीं काम देन वी मोडिफाइड द प्रोटोकॉल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देयर इज वन पार्ट क्वेश्चन ट्राइजोल माइकल एडिशन ऑफ द अमोनिया फॉलोड बाई द टाइजो ट्रांसफर रिएक्शन इट गिव्स द ट्राइजोल वी आइसोलेटेड बोथ द कम्पाउंड आर एंड एसमिस्ट्री एंड करेक्टराइज बाई द सिंगल क्रिस्टल एक्सरे अब इसमें क्या प्रॉब्लम आया इस पेपर को तो हमने जेओसी में पब्लिश किया और थर्टी सिक्स एनालॉग्स अभी वी डेवलप बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दिस मेथड इज वॉट दिस कंपाउंड टाइजो ट्रांसफर कैटालिस्ट दिस इज दिस इज एक्सप्लोसिव थोड़ा डेंजरस है मेरे लाइफ में एक एक्सीडेंट हुआ अनफॉर्चुनेट ये था कि कोई था ना इसलिए प्रॉब्लम है तो उसके बाद हमने इस फील्ड में काम करना सो बट मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स दे आर डिस्प्लेड द सेंसिंग प्रॉपर्टीज सेलेक्टिव सेंसिंग फॉर द कॉपर आयंस और कैडमियम आयंस and published in the tetrad and later again tetrad and later chemistry select many examples we also work in the uh, catalysis part many examples we publish uh, this is recent paper in inorganic chemistry by scs where the cuvain structure was established confirmed by the single crystal x-ray they displayed very good activity catalytic activity this is the recent paper in the N new jc njc and in press uh, you see this is the beautiful uh, uh, catalyst uh, which is there is no need of any solvent no need of any base only 10 minute time is sufficient for the uh, trijol permanently reaction only 10 minutes and the catalyst is very stable banaras mein raha gaya 2 saal tak safe 48 hours or 48 uh, degree centigrade mein to kahin bhi india mein tik jayega koi problem matlab stable bahut hai aur sasta bhi hai no no expensive at all so this work you can go to the literature and data जर्नल just i submitted today morning and i hope that this will be accepted as such uh, so the here the sugar azido alcohol uh, basically triazole glycobit triazoles can be useful for the for the tandem reaction as a catalyst or all ligands uh, for the tandem react synthesis of the uh, what uh, the quinolones and the derivatives analogs uh, this uh, hybrid is useful for the and glacier coupling as well as the sonogasira coupling under heating condition it gives the uh, sonogasira at the room temperature it gives the glacier coupling again published in the journal of organic chemistry and uh, you see uh, start from now the another class beautiful class what and this is the ester phenolic ester first propargylation followed by reduction then chlorination then uh, click reaction then agitation then again click reaction we can add the dendrons uh, this dendron can be coupled with this meso position for pyrene for uh, for pargylated for for pargyl group is there uh, we can have your such class the beautiful picture uh, uh, compound we are confirmed by the 1h nmr 13c mass maldetoff and sick data size excision chromatography one of the structure is shown here where the ring of where the uh, where the 24 sugars are present at the periphery and core is what the uh, what is the core is the uh, porphyrin uh, this class of the compound should be useful for the photodynamic therapy for the cancer treatment but we publish the paper in the, for the chemistry no biology and uh, this is the paper we have a uh, journal of organic chemistry for the glycoporphyrin glycoporphyrins now uh, we extended the again the protocol and what we did here uh, are the hybrid glycodendrons hybrid means there is a one sugar the one aromatic ring, not the all sugar at the periphery and the same core for pyrene are they displayed for the sensing properties for the cancer copper ions and again uh, uh, start from this uh, uh, benzene core uh, we can have it the propargylated bromine is there and then this compound was characterized by the single crystal azido amino triol first propargylation first protection followed by the propargylation then click reaction and then we can have the chlorinous agitation and this dendron can be reacts together by this uh, uh, core it gives the the 18 carbon uh, 18 uh, basically sugars at the periphery and the core is the benzene core so this compound displayed very good activity against the bacteria and antibacterial activity as well as the antibiofilm activity 
But the, another beautiful compound you see, the calidrain systems, the beautifully we architects, molecular architects, and the triazole followed by the benzotriazole at the two position or one position. But this compound is a very good activity for the, uh, for the uh, antibacterial or anti uh, biofilm. We developed, uh, extended the protocol with carbohydrate. I have affinity with the sugars, and this paper recently uh, submitted to the organic material for invited paper. I hope to receive the acceptance in next few 10 to 15 days. We developed number of uh, glycodendimers having the different cores. One of the architecture is here, molecular architecture is here. 27 sugars at the periphery, you know the structure. And the core is what the benzene core, very simple, very easy to perform. And the compound is little expensive because uh, the number of steps are. And yields are also, in most of the cases, yields are also quantitative, but at the last step, the yield is not more than 60%, 70%. This is one of the structure you see the 36 sugar at the periphery, and the core is what the data and data useful for the MRI. MRI means radiomunotherapy, radiomunotherapy imaging. Uh, this compound basically without biological activity, we publish in the carbohydrate research for invited people. Uh, this is one of the, again, glycodendimer where the 54 sugars at the periphery. And this compound we actually the develop, confirmed by the single 1HNMR, 13C, but the Malditoff is not separated. Uh, sick data is supported. But Malditoff, we are struggling a lot. I don't know what is the reason, what is the problem, but I hope that we will solve the problem soon. And then we will be able to submit this paper for the publication. So carbohydrates and click reaction can be useful for the dendimer, glycodendimer synthesis. It can be useful for the surface modification, chelation, gelation, gradual forming reaction, macrocyclization, ismetic synthesis, bioconjugation. And uh, bioconjugation means glycopeptides, glycolipid, glycoproteins. You can modify, we can use for the carbohydrate protein injection study and uh, drug discovery and development. For oh, many, many biological, uh, many diseases can be uh, can be means we can have the protein uh, or lead against the many diseases. For example, tuberculosis, malaria, filaria, inhibitors, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic. So polymer modification you can do, not only that, the enzymes, ASA you can do, nano structure you can develop and the nucleotide nucleoside modification can also be done. So this is my uh, TOC of the chemical reviews, the second chemical reviews published uh, recently in the, in the 2021. And uh, this is an invited paper. What I did in the last 20 years from my laboratory, we developed uh, uh, this uh, uh, beautiful uh, TOC. We, from here, he, you can see what type of the reactions we are performing in the PHU and what are the molecules which have shown uh, very good activity against the several diseases. Uh, this is the second chemical reviews from my own laboratory, BHU, And this is the 319 page long article. In the only space cup publication, uh, COVID, we published in the COVID. This is invited paper. And, uh, you know, impact factor is 72. So very beautiful publication, this one. 319 page long article. I have not seen any paper, which is 319 page. I hope that this is the first paper, which is longest paper in the literature. 200 paper minute topics. My previous chemical reviews was 156 page long article. So this is 319 page long article. So I would like to say my sincere thanks to uh, to you. But before that, I conclude my uh, topic that carbohydrate containing molecules have been recognized as an attractive escape for drug discovery and development. This is one of the book which I edited for elsewhere. There are 16 chapters with the different different uh, uh, perspective. Amino sugar, carbo sugar, sialic acid, red carbon sugars, uh, O glycosylation, or, or carbohydrate protein interaction studies, vaccine formation, and DNA and uh, nucleotide formation. So many topics we covered in this uh, um, book. And, uh, and the elsewhere is very happy and uh, with me. And therefore, he again asked me, invited me for the second book on the carbohydrate. And I accepted the invitation. I already signed the agreement. I hopefully I, I will be able to uh, just publish this, uh, the second volume uh, in 2024, about uh, April or May month. Uh, so it contains the 17 chapters, I hope so. So I would like to say my sincere thanks to Alma Mater, Sidra Lakno, from where I did my PhD, University of Constant, Germany. I, Professor Richard A. Smith, he's a very fantastic, very nice teacher, a very great scientist. You know the ischemic reaction. I work with him as a student. 
as a visiting fellow, this scientist. So University of California, Davis, Professor Jai Chen, University of Florida, for example, Professor Elena Kartiski, late he is no more, but he is, he is, uh, blessing is with me, I, 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 I know. And all the funding agency, seven project I completed, actually not seven, eight project I completed, uh, one uh, UC have to submit, a uh, two project is underwent, undergoing hum do se zyada project nahi rakh pate hain mujhe bahut tension hoti hai paisa mein main bahut kamzor hu paisa aur technology do cheeze mein bahut weak hu mera mobile kharab hota hai to mera beta banata hai kabhi kabhi chala jata hai aap logon ne bahut acha manage kiya khat 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 wahan se manage kiya technology wala person aapka hai aapke paas baitha hua hai ab mere liye to bada mushkil tha kyunki online mein main bahut darta hu kabhi chala gaya to main kya karu to main physical mode mein lecture ke liye bahut bahut mujhe comfort zone hai ऑनलाइन में मैं आई कांटेक्ट नहीं हो पाता था तो उतना अच्छा नहीं बोल पाता एनीवे सो लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू डेडिकेट टू द प्रोफेसर रिचर्ड डेस्मिथ और दिस इज द माय क्रेडिट गोस टू माय पीएचडी स्टूडेंट 13 पीएचडी आई प्रोड्यूस एंड आउट ऑफ 13 टू स्टूडेंट्स आर माय फैकल्टी इन माय ओन डिपार्टमेंट वीरेंद्र प्रसाद इज फैकल्टी इन एचयू ही इज ऑफ कोर्स माय प्रोफेसर ही इज इवन सीनियर देन अब अपॉइंटिंग अथॉरिटी को समझ में नहीं आया उन्होंने जो है उसको अपॉइंट कर दिया हमसे पहले ज्वाइन कर लिया तो वो मेरा सीनियर हो गया और वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट इज दिव्या कुशवाहा सी जी लेक्चर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बी एच यू महिला महाविद्यालय वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट इज प्रोफेसर प्रोफेसर बैनवेल नवल नमीशा सिंह एंड द रिसेंट वर्क ग्लाइकोडेंटिंग वर्क डन बाई द आनंद कुमार अग्रहरी हिज ही ज्वाइन द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया टेविस सेम लेबोरेटरी वेर आई वर्क same bench where i work so uh, and at present i have eight students working with me i face problem i have but i'm anyhow managing the research and this is one of the uh, one of the uh, journal uh, he he was requesting me since last 3 years for the publication thematic issue of the modern trends in glycochemistry i accepted invitation and uh, uh, i offer you all if you have you wish you can uh, submit your valuable contribution for the consideration in molecules impact factors 4.927 with these words i am thankful to the organizer particularly uh, professor kavita sharma uh, when she called i was in Cali- i was in kurukshetra university uh, there were three four lecture i have to deliver there yesterday i again two lectures i deliver for the lucknow university and बाबा साहब भीमराव अम्बेडकर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑल नाइट आई ट्रेवल आई ड्राइव मुझे जो है ड्राइविंग में बड़ा अच्छा लगता है ड्राइवर मैं नहीं रखता अब पैसा ही बचाना जरूरी है तो <laughs> तो मैं सुबह में आया और इन्होंने जो है ये लेक्चर दिया इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू आंसर सर एंड आई अगेन थैंक यू दिव्या कविता एंड वन इज वट द नेम आई सुप्रिया वन इज उजला और उजाला आई कंफ्यूज इट्स उजला उजला मैम उजला सो आई वॉज थिंकिंग उजाला एंड डॉक्टर एम पी गौतम सर फॉर ही लिसन माई टॉक वेरी नाइसली वेरी केयरफुल वेरी सो आई एम अगेन थैंकफुल टू ऑल द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमिटी मेंबर्स एंड कंग्रेचुलेट यू दैट यू सिलेक्टेड अ वेरी वेरी नाइस टॉक The theme is very fantastic. With this word, thank you again. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for this wonderful talk. Uh, okay. Uh, Gautam sir, can we proceed? No. We will. I have to say something. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, sir. No, I have to. I I will conclude the this, yes, sir. Uh, lecture. Actually, we are very lucky that such a nice uh, speaker, Dr. Tiwari, who is having the various uh, knowledge of various fields. Specifically, he has touched the chemistry of natural product. Yes, sir. Natural product. and i as i i could understand yes sir. and specifically carbohydrate okay yes sir. now i was thinking when you have mentioned then you have started your research from the cdra yes yes sir. that's why you have concentrated your whole work 
towards the nature of product. <laughs> yes. Because in the 1973, when Dr. Nityanand Bad, uh, sir, was the director of CDRI, Dr. Nityanand. Yes, yes. In the 1973. Very I, nice synthetic yeah, image. Yes. Yeah. So I worked at CDRI. Yes. In that time. And yeah. we were not having any kinds of uh, instrumental facilities in our yes. university. Yes. So uh, Dr. Nityanand came to deliver the UGC uh, uh, lecture series. So I requested, sir, I am also a organic chemist. I am working in the field of uh, natural products. F, yes, you need any uh, help from me, yes, sir. So the, he called me uh, to come to CDRI. So I could understand why you have concentrated the whole thing about the medicinal chemistry. Yes, you got the point, sir. Okay. Very good. Yes. And there are a number of theses from Allahabad. You might be knowing Dr. Radhvi Chabari sir. Yes. Yes. Uh, from Professor Negam from Sagan yes. University. Okay. Yes. So they were they were also doing the chemistry of natural product. They have published many. Um, they have worked on the field of essential oil and something else. But why your paper has been accepted in a, such a renowned journal? Why other universities have appreciated you? Because your work is for the benefit of the society. Thank you, sir. For the humanity. Uh, it is based on the humanitarian law. You were talking about our mother is a mother knows either he is not PhD or matriculate. And she is, uh, she is having the idea about the gas is a water soluble. And you have also mentioned about the allyl isothiocyanate. Because you are related to the plant chemistry, so I would like to mention one plant. Yes. The Putranjiga, Putranjiba Ragnarbe. I would like it. Yeah. So, fortunately, what happened in the uh, laboratory, regional research laboratory, uh, Jammu, Professor Chopra Sahab was there, and uh, Bashish Sahab was there, and KL Handa Sahab was there. Uh, at that time, when I worked in RRL Jammu. So, when I, I submitted a one sample extracted from the leaves of the Potanji Vadas Burgai, they get it examined and told me that you are, it is having a very important new component which, which has not yet been published anywhere. You do one thing, you isolate this compound and it is a giving the indication of the allyl isothiocyanate. It was, I have not test, I have tested, I have not tested, but I tested using the gas chromatography at that time, GCMS was not there. Okay. So it was confirmed that it was allyl isothiocyanate. It was having the pungent smell, just like Sarnote. Hmm. So I was recalling when you were talking about all these things, you are actually a natural product chemist. And you have worked in the field of medicinal chemistry. It is the need of our country. Because we are very rich in the plant. And you have one more very interesting thing which you have told about the Rasayan. You have mentioned about the Tulsi Ramayana. <laughs> okay. okay. I could get one idea because I, at, after some time I joined the forensic science. Kavita was also in the forensic science. So I used to correlate our chemistry with the uh, Ramayana and other Gita. Okay. Because we are Hindu. Yes. So it is the fundamental right that we should explore what our we were guru. We are supposed to be a guru of the world. So the things which are now being at, uh, technically are explored, but we have the whole idea. I will tell you 
मैंने अपनी माँ से पूछा कि शाम को ही तुलसी के नीचे दिया क्यों रखते हैं मम्मी क्योंकि आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन देंशियल है तो उन्होंने ये कहा कि जब दिन रहता है तो उसमें से खुशबू निकलती है तुलसी की परंतु तो रात को टेम्परेचर डाउन हो जाता है इसलिए दया गर्म करता है उसमें जो खुशबू वाला पार्ट है वो निकल के आता है डेट आई कुड कन्फर्म वेन आई एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम दीप आई फ्रॉम द लीप एंड गॉट द एंटी माइक्रोबल एक्टिविटी एंड एंटी बैक्टीरियल एक्टिविटी एंटी फंगल एक्टिविटी इन दो so it is very we are fortunate to as you have already mentioned you will accept our invitation i will convey this uh, things to our vice chancellor also we had a very nice a very uh, renowned speaker of this field so i will uh, tell to kavita also everybody is impressed not only i okay so we thank will you. expect thank we you, will sir. expect uh, in future also thank you thank you sir. thank you very much professor excuse me professor yes yes uh, just only one question yes yes uh, first of all uh, i say you thought provoking lecture and a very great lecture so everyone is impressed with the click chemistry just uh, one doubt professor yes yes in some of the work you are using copper one as a catalyst for click yes, chemistry yes, and yes. in some of the uh, coupling reactions you are using for Uh, copper sulfate got, as a catalyst i got the point here actually uh, when we copper one is important for the catalysis when we are using the copper one we need a base but when we are using copper two first you have to reduce the copper two to copper one for that one we use the sodium ascorbate right so not copper sulfate only copper sulfate in presence of sodium ascorbate works for the click reaction and the copper sulfate sodium ascorbate has one beautiful beauty is what you can use the water reaction in water but if you are using the copper iodide and and uh, and uh, dipia in uh, uh, for example in uh, uh, dichloromethane uh, the reaction works well but in 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 water the reaction yield is little bit less so you have not only one two you can use the uh, nano nano copper nano particle you can use the copper complex and you can use the some uh, copper uh, two different uh, different uh, catalyst copper one different catalyst so there are so many but when you use the copper two you need to use the uh, reducing agent for example sodium ascorbate other reducing agent also people are using so uh, you i request to please go to my chemical videos the one part uh, one section they, there are seven section of oh, the section number 2 are uh, the sub section 2.3 and the whole uh, concept we have discovered we we have just uh, mentioned there so for the copper catalysis so copper sulfate when you use you need the the reduce, reducing agent sodium ascorbate when you use the copper one copper iodide no need of any reducing agent it works thank you professor definitely I, i noted all the literature or literature i will go through professor and one more uh, point okay. professor one more uh, clarity clarification uh, sugar chemistry is yes, very sir. difficult to work and uh, definitely this uh, so many isomers also you will encounter then how you will purify the professor all these is isomers and uh, yeah uh, uh, actually if you just give me one minute time i can so the one two slides uh, the nmr uh, i uh, means in one uh, rf single rf three compounds were formed by michael addition of time and uh, out of three we isolated myself isolated all the three compounds ab humne usko isolate kar liya ab hamare baad kitne logon ne koshish kiya but none of them are successful ye depend karta hai how you are devoted to your work jab aap mehnat se kaam karenge to kamyabi aata hai otherwise carbohydrate mein once you put the keep the carbohydrates derivatives in the column ah uh, there is a chances for the uh, degradation sometimes there is a chances for the carbohydrate can bind with the silica so yield will be less but uh, when i load the column and i use the fallas column chromatography i forget everything मैं कुछ भी याद नहीं करता सीधे कालम को निकाल एक समय मैं एक ही काम करता हूँ जिससे मैं भी लेक्चर दे रहा हूँ तो आई एम आई एम टोटली बाई कार्ड फ्रॉम द होल वर्ल्ड आई एम हियर ओनली 
वंस आई एम इन क्लास आई एम इन क्लास तो उसके लिए दिस इज नॉट ए डिफिकल्ट टास्क द प्यूरिफिकेशन स्टेप इज नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट और डिफिकल्टी तो देखिए होगा ही पब्लिकेशन के पहले हो चाहे बाद में हो इफ यू वर्क फॉर द सिंपल वर्क तो बाद में पब्लिकेशन में मुश्किल होगा पहले मुश्किल करेंगे तो बाद में आसानी से छपेगा अब हमारी च्वाइस है कि हम कब करते हैं really great pro sir no it's uh, it is a motivating and uh, triggering all of us with your lecture very yes. kind of you yeah. thank, thank you thank you ek baar main aapko ek baat batau main class 1 mein tha i was in class 1 and mera ek dost tha wo jo hai na mere paas ek brush tha aur wo painting ka usne hum le liya ab de hi nahi raha tha pariksha tha exam tha ab humko time nikla jata what i have to do ab hamare paas kuch dusra option nahi tha और वो रंग भरने वाला तो था लेकिन वो ब्रश नहीं था ब्रश एक ही था तो मैंने अपना बाल को यूं यूं करके कट कर लिया और उसी से मैंने रंग वो बनाना था ऑरेंज था और केल और और एप्पल था तीन चार सेव तीन चार तरह के फ्रूट से मुझे आज याद है मैंने उसी से काम निकाल लिया मतलब ये है कि आपका टारगेट अगर आपके सामने तो ये नहीं कि ये मिलेगा भूख लगी है तो आपको कोई जरूर नहीं पिज्जा मिलेगा तभी खाया रोटी भी खाया जो मिला खा तो डोंट वेट वेट करें तो अच्छी काम के लिए थैंक 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 यू 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 मैडम मैडम कविता आई 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 एम वेरी हैप्पी दिव्या आपको भी और वुड लाइक टू पास माय बेस्ट विशेज आप जल्दी से मिस दिव्या से डॉक्टर दिव्या बने मेरे पास मेरे पास आएगा तो आई 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 कैन टेक ओनली थ्री फोर डेज नॉट मोर देन फोर डेज थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच thank you so much for your motivating words and uh, you know this kind of uh, work like uh, it motivates a lot to like young researchers like us so thank you again sir dr professor gautam sir mp gautam sir aapne bahut acha conclude kiya mere liye main aapka words ke liye bahut aabhari hu aur kabhi milenge to main aapko baat karunga personally ji thank you sir meeting in our university itself ji आप आप सामने आएंगे और मजा आएगा हाँ एक बार मैं आपके शहर में आया था इंदौर में एक्चुअली उसी वक्त मुझे डॉक्टर एस एस देश पांडे अवार्ड अनाउंस हुआ अच्छा अच्छा वेरी गुड तो वो एक गवर्नमेंट होलकर साइंस कॉलेज हाँ होलकर साइंस कॉलेज बहुत अच्छी कॉलेज हाँ उसी से अवार्ड मिला था और मैं वहाँ आया तो एक आई पी एस अकेडमी में लेक्चर दिया था एक देवी अहिल्या यूनिवर्सिटी में लेक्चर दूसरी बार आया था देवी हाँ पहले कॉन्टेक्ट नहीं था आपका अब भविष्य में आपको बुलाते ही जी जी आपके बनारस में भी फोरेंसिक खोल गया है शायद हाँ मेरे डिपार्टमेंट में ही है अच्छा आपके हैं अरे आ, मेरे डिपार्टमेंट में है उसी का पार्ट है बट इन द नेक्स्ट बिल्डिंग एन एक्सी बिल्डिंग और उसमें है थर्टी स्टूडेंट्स आप भी अरे है और आउट ऑफ थर्टी ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी सेवन एडमिशन तो हर साल खुल जाए वेरी गुड वेरी गुड मैं लखनऊ जाता रहता था वो एंथ्रोपोलॉजी uh, डिपार्टमेंट में वो खोला था हम्म तो उदय प्रताप सिंह थे वहां पे लखनऊ में फिर बनारस तो अभी जाना नहीं हो पाया क्योंकि तो मैं स्टेट में फॉरेंसिक साइंस में रहा ना केमिस्ट्री के बाद में यहाँ आ गया फॉर अबाउट थर्टी सिक्स ईयर्स आई है पास दिन फॉरेंसिक लेबोरेटरी जी तो अभी पहले बिलासपुर में था आजकल यहाँ वैष्णव विद्यापीठ में जी जी तो प्रैक्टिकल थ्योरी दोनों एक्सपीरियंस हो गए जी बट बेसिकली आई मे आर्मी के यस आई गॉट आई गॉट एक कभी भी मेरी कोई जरूरत पड़े आप बताना बिल्कुल नाइस इट इज अ गुड डिपार्टमेंट जी बहुत अच्छा अच्छा बहुत अच्छा लगा मिल के मुझे मुझे भी मुझे भी बहुत अच्छा लगा मैं सॉरी कहूंगा क्योंकि मेरा एक क्लास है तो मैं तीन बजे से तो उसका थोड़ा सा मुझे नहीं नहीं बिल्कुल 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 आप जाइए स्टर लेने जाना हो अपने दूसरे स्पीकर भी वेट कर रहे हैं उनको भी सुनना है भी चलिए बहुत बहुत नमस्कार थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर अभी दिव्या गैप नहीं है कोई बीच में नो सर कंटिन्यू शेल आई कंटिन्यू सर कब अब किसको मैं कौन आ रहा है नाउ आई फील प्रिविलेज्ड टू इंट्रोड्यूस द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्पीकर ऑफ द सेशन प्रोफेसर जया द्विवेदी मैम अच्छा वेरी गुड गुड आफ्टरनून मैम नमस्कार 
Dr. Jaya Duvedi Ma'am uh, is uh, working in the capacity of Professor and Head, Department of Chemistry and Dean, School of Life Science at Banasthali Vidyapit, Rajasthan. Her area of specialization is organic synthesis, material development and natural products. She has published more than 125 research papers in the journals of international or national repute. She holds two patents to her credit and has uh, authored various book chapters. She has actively, actively contributed in uplifting the departmental research infrastructure through research, resource mobilization from various funding agencies with UGC, WTP, DST, DST uh, Curie, FAST, uh, FST, MHRD, India and developed state-of-art instrumental facility at the department. In addition to institutional projects, she has successfully handled four individual projects. She has supervised 25 PhD research scholars under her direct supervision. She has delivered various key keynote lectures in international and national conferences. She is a life member of Indian Science Congress and Indian Chemical Society. She has also organized various national level seminars, conferences, symposia, workshops, faculty development programs, etc. Today, ma'am is going to talk about insight in antimicrobial screening for novel lead. Uh, now I request uh, to hand over my session to uh, Gautam sir to proceed. Okay, we can proceed. And um, I welcome uh, Dr. Jayadwini. And uh, it is a very good and a coincidence that everybody is related to the natural product <laughs> and medicinal importance. Tiwari sir has huge experience in the synthetic organic chemistry. It was a very nice lecture by him. And I will try to actually do something. You have to do the number of PhDs, you will do it well. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you. Sir, may I ask one question to you? You belong to Bilaspur. No, I was in Raipur. Raipur. Actually, I have, sir, seen, I have seen somewhere you and continuously I was thinking ki where I, was I, have, a, I, was I actually professor. belong to Raipur, sir. I actually belong to Raipur. Where? Where? Uh, Raipur, uh, I completed my MSc from Science College and okay. uh, then I worked in Guru Ghasidas University for eight years. Then I joined Vanasli Vidyapit ah, in 2006. So I was the professor in the Guru Ghasidas Central yeah. University. Who yes, was sir. the vice chancellor at that time? Uh, sir, initially R.K. Singh sir was there. And I then, uh, then um, Professor um, from uh, sir, JNU, the second vice chancellor after him, he was uh -huh. there and then I left from Bilaspur. So I think you might have seen me in the yes, right. Sir, I think you have organized that uh, uh, all India young, young, young scientist conferences and oh, all that. Okay, okay, okay. I, was, I was part of that. I actually presented there in that conference um, um, I, because that time I was in PhD. Uh, that lady, one uh, Thakur Madam was also there. Uh -huh. the best paper about. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I yes, delivered sir. a lecture in that conference. Yes, sir. That's why I I actually thought that I have seen you somewhere. Very good. And as you said, you said that you have been in Bilasu. Just I picked up that, sir, you are from there. Yes, sir. Very nice meeting. Thank you, very sir. Nice. Thank you. Nice okay. to meet you. And thank you very much for uh, giving some words for me. Okay. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor. Uh, let me start actually. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes. uh, good afternoon, one and all. And... Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank Professor Dhar, Professor Guru Prasad, Professor Kavita Sharma, and of course, uh, Gautam sir, for inviting me here in this conference and giving opportunity to be with you and share my, uh, actually, some experience in, on the topic, insights in the antimicrobial screen, actually, uh, sir, I have to share, na? Okay, okay. Na, na, share my slide, na? Okay, okay. Hmm. Where it is? Yes. Okay. So my screen is visible to you all or not? No, no, not no, still. Not still. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think, right? Yes, yes. Hundred percent. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So uh, today I will speak on, on the topic, insight in antimicrobial screening of novel leads. Uh, actually, uh, in coming half an hour, I'm, I'm going to elaborate the antimicrobial methods 
used for the screening of novel leaves, I, or I should say uh, antimicrobial compounds. Before proceeding, I, I, I actually convey my sincere thanks to Professor Dhar, Professor Guru Prasad, Professor Kavita Sharma, and Gautam sir, all the organizing team members and participants of this conference. As we all know that uh, infectious disease are prevailing like anything and it is becoming, uh, it is growing instantaneously and exponentially. And it is worth to mention here, this is becoming one of the significant contributor to the mortality and morbidity worldwide. Antibiotics, as we all know that antibiotics are the very common class of drug and everyone has exposure of it in its lifetime for cold, cough, fever, injury, and so on. So antibiotics are the most prescribed drug, class of most prescribed drug. We, everyone actually having a prescription of antibiotics in our life. But with the excessive use of antibiotics, uh, microbial resistance, microbial or antibiotic resistance is becoming a major threat for the uh, society. And it is a global issue. And even doctors worldwide are losing some of the most useful and affordable antibiotics today. Along with this fact, it is threatening again that at least 30 new diseases have emerged in the last 20 years and now together threaten the health of hundreds of millions of people worldwide. But at, unfortunately, at the same time, our antibiotics are becoming ineffective. So today for many of these diseases, there is no treatment, no cure or vaccine. So we are suffering the word of the, uh, the era of actually microbial resistant infections. So what is antimicrobial uh, resistance? The antimicrobial resistance is the condition where the bacteria continue to grow even in the presence of the antibiotics. And this, this is due to the unnecessary irrational and excessive uses of antibiotics and it causes antibiotic resistance within the bacteria. So antibiotics are becoming increasingly ineffective as drug resistant spreads globally leading to more difficult to threat infections and associated deaths. You must have a look here. This is the graph which is showing the consumption of antibiotics in India. And according to Times of India report, in 2001, the people of India are consuming 8 billion pills of antibiotics in NM, in NNM. So annually, the consumption of antibiotics pill is 8 billion, which raised, which actually tremendously raised to 12.9 billion in the year 2010. And presently, it is come, touching to the value of 18 billion pills per annum. So first increase was 62% and it is increasing in that rate only. And this value is very, very higher than the consumption of antibiotic pills in China as well as in US. So we can say India is high on the antibiotic usage. So the microbial resistance cases would be, uh, would be higher here in India only. And at the same time, it is alarming statistics that approximately 7 lakh estimated deaths are causing due to the antibiotic resistant infections worldwide. And horribly, this data is predicted to rise to 1 crore by the year 2050. So this prevalence of antimicrobial resistance in India and worldwide not only affecting the health and the social structure of the uh, countries, but also it is affecting the economy of the world. The world can expect it to lose about 100 trillion USD worth of economic output by 2050 if antimicrobial drug resistance is not tackled. So we are continue to rise in the antimicrobial resistance would lead to global reduction of two to 3.5% in GDP by 2050. So it is very threatening and alarming situation for us globally. So we can say that we are standing on the brink of the global crisis in infection, the infectious disease. No country is safe from them, 
no country can any longer afford to ignore their threat so what do we do what should we do we should go for the research or the search of the novel leads which can act as antimicrobial agent or the uh, it, that can act against the microbes which are resistant to the uh, present antibiotic range so we have to go for the lead ident identification first so from where we can get we can we can synthesize them in the lab we can get from the plant derived compounds plant sources can be there and we know that from the ancient time we are using the herbal herbals as the medicine and tulsi uh, neem and haldi are very 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 common and known to us they are acting as antimicrobial agent so we can go for the structure identification of the uh, lead uh, component of those plants and we can synthesize them in the lab also we can derive some leads from the animal resources and finally at last but not the least we can go for the repurposing repurposing of the established drugs repurposing is the very very promising area of research in the drug discovery field and it actually minimizes the time of toxicity studies and all because drug is already established and it is actually in the market so we only have to search for their other uses now i can give one example it is very common to all and we can recognize this repurposing directly that is the drug aspirin we know jab bhi hamara headache hota hai we go for aspirin we go for dispirin tablet okay so it was actually discovered drug for the anti inflammatory activity for pain but later on it was uh, it was found that this drug is very very effective for the platelet deaggregation okay so it was actually given to the patients with the cardiac uh, problems and it is reducing the platelet aggregation thus thus it is used as the blood thinner agent so cardiac patients are given aspirin tablet for blood thinning but it was actually discovered as the uh, anti inflammatory agent so in anti inflammatory agents usage have been new uh, redefined and it is now used as the uh, blood thinning agent so this process is called as repurposing and recently our lab mates have published one paper one work and they have actually redefined the uh, cardiac tonic digoxin as anti inflammatory agent which was a well established uh, cardiac tonic digoxin is well established cardiac tonic but now it can be used as the uh, anti inflammatory agent also so these are the sources from which we can identify our lead uh, we can use our lead from these resources so if you have lead then the question next is how to actually evaluate their antimicrobial potential or antimicrobial activity in the lab actually we have series of methods from preliminary uh, level to the advanced level and from pre preliminary level we have some indication of antibiotic activity or antimicrobial activity and later on we can go into depth for identifying the mechanism of action of the compounds okay so these are the very preliminary method we know very well about them it are these are the diffusion method which includes agar well disk diffusion method dish plate method is also there growth micro dilution and macro dilution when we talk about the micro dilution then some advancement in the study comes in the picture and third one is the high throughput tlc direct biotography method is there so i will briefly discuss about the method and then we'll go for the advanced methods also so diffusion methods are always working on the diffusion process and in this process what we have you might have seen this this in your uh, education time and in your actually lab time also so these are these are the actually petri plates which is filled with the agar and the media and some uh, with the help of borers we we make some bores here holes holes or wells are created here and antibiotic solution or the lead compound solution is poured into these wells okay and after the incubation period of 24 hours the inhibition zone was actually observed or recorded and yeah, the zone of inhibition is directly proportional to the antibacterial antibacterial uh, event mein participate nahi kiya antibacterial potential of the compound acha 
in the discrete method the beauty of this Sorry? method lies that here you can see that we made three tago four aaj hai na Uh, I'm sorry. Some noise is coming. Background noise is there. So in this method, we have three hosts for three different antibiotic compounds, or three hosts for different concentration of antibiotic. But bacteria is common for all the three. Bacteria or other media is common for all the three. In ditch plate method, what we do, we actually uh, create a trough. Trough. this is called ditch on the plate agar plate we create a ditch and in this ditch we fill the solution of antibiotic or the lead compound or we can say our synthesized or the natural compound we fill here okay and these are the rows of bacterial strains these are rows of bacterial strains in the common plate so here we have uh, we we can actually uh, judge or screen our compound against various bacterial strain at a time so you can see here this ditch is containing an antibacterial solution and the distance from this ditch indicating the activity of this compound for a particular strain for example you can see here that b coli b coli is not actually uh, b coli is resistant to the compound which is filled here b coli is resistant to the compound which is filled here but it is actively affecting the growth of the staphylococcus pneumoniae and aureus these bacteria are actually in inhibited by this compound but at the same time b coli and influenza is not affecting by the uh, compound which is filled here in the ditch so in this method we can reduce our time for testing different bacteria ya bacterial strain for different uh, different set of petri dishes here in the same experimental set we can uh, we can screen our compound for different bacterial strain so we can reduce the time of investigation using this method the other is the broth micro dilution method these methods are very easy and we can actually conduct conduct these experiments in our, in our normal labs we need no additional actually equipment support or the chemicals for conducting these experiments in our labs so in this micro dilution method we take a series of test tubes okay and follow the principle of mba mba means first we put media in these test tubes then followed by bacterial strain bacterial culture okay and finally the antibiotic solution the concentration of antibiotic solution what we are putting here in these test tube actually serially diluted so we started with 100 microgram per ml to uh 0.9 0.39 and so on whatever actually we actually go for the results from where we get mic up till now we actually dilute our solutions so here the test of ts tube uh, uh, series of test tubes are here then we put media m then followed by bacterial culture followed by antibiotic solution that is our compound that for which we actually conducted this experiment so here the then we need a spectro a spectrometer that is u visible spectrometer and in this method after overnight or uh, 12 hours uh, incubation we we actually record the optical density of different test tubes the higher the density that means minimum is the inhibition so lower at lower dilution side you will get the higher absorbance while the higher concentration antibiotic side you will get lower optical density because here the bacterial bacterial colonies are now died here the bacterial colonies are there so concentration of bacteria is higher here this is the concentration after which actually the optical density started to reduce so this concentration is the minimum inhibitory concentration where it is started our compound is started to kill the bacteria so this is count this is actually marked as the mic mic of our compound that is minimum minimum inhibitory concentration this is called as the minimum inhibitory concentration so in this micro dilution method we we actually do this and in micro macro dilution method was there 
and here in micro dilution method sa we need one specific instrument that is called as micro plate reader micro plate reader here actually uh, the beauty of this method is that we require very less amount of sample less time and accuracy of the analysis is very high here because instead of uh, putting uh, solutions by pipette or deburette we actually use the auto sampler here and the well plates are here whose actually uh, volume is 250 microliter only we cannot go beyond this so we require very less quantity of sample and that is why this is called as micro dilution assay okay so 96 well plate is there but we can commercially 396000 Uh, well plate are also available here simultaneously we can go for uh, analysis or antimicrobial analysis of 20 40 60 compound whatever we wish so the number of compounds we are analyzing at the same time is very high so it is again reducing our time and uh, the results accuracy is very high here this is the comb we first we put actually bacterial media here in the wells and after this we add our samples in triplicates so in triplicates the actually significance of the result will be there and then incubate depending on the nature of the enzyme and then bacteria the incubation time is actually from 1 hour to 24 hour also so incubation time is requ required here is very less and then we read the plate under uh, fluorescence and this instrument is called uh, mi micro plate reader and the reading was recorded and we can take our results directly from the instrument so this is the method which we call as high throughput screening so manual the chances of manual error here is very less that is why i am continuously saying that the method is very accurate in comparison to the previous traditional or the conventional antibacterial methods other high throughput uh, tlc method is there which we call direct biotography method here what we do this method method is very very useful for the natural compounds natural extracts so we develop our extract on the tlc and then the developed tlc poured into the microbial solution okay and microbial solution uh, and we put some dye also for the Uh, visual appearance of the zone of inhibition into the plate and here you can see that blue color dye is indicating the zone of inhibition so the this this area this actually spot is showing the maximum bacterial inhibitory uh, inhibitory potential so here from here we directly uh, identify the compound which is present which is part of the natural extract which are and, and it is antibacterial agent by ms or nmr spectral studies okay so this type of analysis is called as autobiography and this here we actually start with the extract of the natural product and uh, natural plant and from here we develop the separate the different component of the plant and finally we go for their identification and antibacterial activity if we go for some advanced level methods where we can identify the mechanism of action of our compound are the protein leakage assay bacterial growth curve study fluorescent study field emission scanning electron microscopy outer inner membrane permeability assay bacterial enzyme inhibitory assay and molecular docking these are the steps by which we can understand the actual or the probable mechanism better to say of the action of our compound as antimicrobial um, agent so briefly i will explain briefly i will explain that uh, protein leakage assay is nothing but it is leakage of the cell material from the bacteria so if our compound is able to able to rupture able to rupture the bacterial cell wall then it will be able to leakage out the material which is present inside the cell of the bacteria if those material will come out of the cell then the density of optical density of the medium will increase so you can see here if you have the control group here and this is our compound 11 and compound 6 some compounds are there which have been identified as the antibacterial agent 
So compound six is actually increasing. Uh, the optical density of compound six is very high. That means the inhibition property of compound six is very high, followed by compound eleven. And the other third very small line is for the control group where no compound were added. The bacterial growth curve study actually states about the um, growth pattern of the bacteria. So here again, we need only a spectrophotometer that is available almost every in every lab. So a spectrophotometer key helps it. We actually see the bacterial growth curve, and this is sigmoidal in nature. Okay, so if the pattern of growth is changing, so the height of sigmoid is also reducing. So if the height of the sigmoid is reducing, that is indicating our compound has potential to stop the bacterial growth. Okay, so you can see here the blue line is for Escherichia coli, and purple line is for S. aureus. These are the two bacteria without the compound, so their growth pattern is normal, and they are showing the sigmoid pattern of growth. While when we add the compound number six into the solution into the bacterial culture, then what happened that even in the minute eight eight minute me. क्या होगा बैक्टीरियो स्टेटिक फंक्शन ऑफ द कंपाउंड वाज सेम बैक्टीरियो स्टेटिक फंक्शन ऑफ द कंपाउंड वाज सेम एंड आफ्टर एट मिनट इट इनहिबिटेड द ग्रोथ ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया वाइल इन सम अदर केसेस द बैक्टीरियल ग्रोथ स्टॉप्ड इन ट्वेल्व मिनट्स और द फोर्टीन मिनट्स बट द कंपाउंड दिस कंपाउंड विच इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट एक्चुअली इट स्टॉप द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एट मिनिट एट ऑनली actually after 6 it is started but at 8 minute was the sufficient time to stop the complete growth or we can say for the bacterial static action of the compound so by bacterial growth uh, curve study we can find out ki, uh, that our drug is how much it is potent how fast it can stop the growth of the bacteria in the cell the other is the fluorescence study and here what we do we use some dye dye that is the fluorescent dyes and fluorescent dyes like propidium iodide are set 9 this set 9 can permeate the cell membrane of the bacteria and uh, emit the fluorescent effect so as soon as the concentration of the compound was increased in the medium then the emission intensity of the emission spectra was reduces the intensity of the emission spectra was reduces and this is indicating that our compound is showing antibacterial activity concentration dependent antibacterial activity as we will in, we are increasing the concentration of the compound in the medium then the effect is very high other is the field emission scanning electron microscopic method we require high level high end actually instrument for this it is the fpsem and here we can observe visually the morphological changes that occur in the presence of a test compound okay so we can see here it is the normal cell of the e coli it is a rod shaped bacteria is there after addition of the compound the cell wall of the bacteria get ruptured and it fused with each other so our compound is able to cause uh, actually killing killing or the fusion of the bacteria so we can observe morphological changes within the bacterial cell uh, culture after adding our compound and this is the mechanism we can say this is the mechanism by which we can understand the action of our compound the other example is of s aureus it is not shaped bacteria and after addition of the compound again you can see here the fusion is started and finally it collapses the cells of bacteria collapse with each other so bacterial death actually results on addition of the addition of the uh, compounds which is which is having antibacterial potential so for this we need instrument like field emission scanning electron microscope or the parameter what we determine here it is the morphological changes and cellular membrane integrity whether it is maintained or the uh, changed on addition of the compound the other assay that we use is the outer and inner membrane permeability assay the cell wall of the bacteria has two type of membranes outer membrane and the inner membrane and from our knowledge biological uh, science 
of biological science we know very much that outer membrane that is cell membrane is less actually selective but the inner membranes that is the membrane of mitochondria and other cell organelles are they, they are very very uh, very much selective as compared to that of outer membrane if our compound is uh, actually passing this test outer membrane or inner membrane permeability assay then we could say that our compound has ability to uh, ability to permeate through the membrane also because the permeability of the drug is the other issue if our uh, our compound is targeting the outer or the inner membrane then we could say that our compound will cross the barriers of the cell membrane and it will reach to the target bacteria which is present inside the cell so if lipophilicity of the drug is the question then we can test about the lipophilicity or the permeability of our compound using this assay so the out the lipid mediated pathway is there and general diffusion porins are there in hydrophilic hydrophilic antibiotics so if hydrophilic antibiotics are there so they will pass through the uh, using the diffusion porins while the lipophilic our compound will pass through the lipid mediated pathway for the hydrophobic antibiotics so here we can class our compound as hydrophobic or hydrophilic antibiotics also bacterial enzyme inhibitory assay is again the further step toward the mechanism development different type of enzymes are using diff uh, different type of bacteria are using different enzyme for their development and the growth like uh, bacterial dehydrogenase enzyme is there dihydrofolate reductase enzyme is there so we can take one of the enzyme uh, or the selective enzyme according to the bacterial nature uh, we can uh, choose one enzyme if our compound is able to inhibit inhibit the enzymes then we can say our compound is working via inhibition of this particular enzyme so mechanism mechanistic level study requires the bacterial enzyme inhibitory assay and for this study again we need that instrument what we i have discussed that is the microplate reader in the microplate reader we take different concentration of our enzyme solution and we put our compound and then we identify whether it is inhibiting or not if it is inhibiting then we can say our compound is working via inhibition of a particular enzyme whether dhfr or bacterial dehydrogenase uh, enzyme here we need again uv visible spectrophotometer and uh, for better better results we need uh, micro plate reader and accurate results we get from there molecular docking is the other method by which we can actually uh, take help in the lead identification we, if you have thousands of structure of one particular nucleus then you dock these structure with the pdb pdb that is protein data banks से हम क्या निकाल लेते हैं बैक्टीरिया के प्रोटीन आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हैं एंड वी डॉक ओवर कंपाउंड विद पी डी बी इफ इट इज डॉकिंग प्रॉपरली इफ इट इज एक्चुअली बाइंडिंग विद प्रोटीन ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया प्रॉपरली देन वी कैन गो फॉर द सिंथेसिस इफ यू इफ यू हैव डन ऑन द अदर वे दैट मीन्स यू हैव सिंथेसाइज योर कंपाउंड एंड योर कंपाउंड इज एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग आर डूइंग वेल इन दी बैक्टीरियल एसेज देन we can take the structures of the compound and we can we can go for the docking with the uh, bacterial proteins okay if it is docking properly or docking uh, binding the with the protein of the bacteria properly then we could say that our compound is uh, able to inhibit the growth of the bacteria so it helps in identifying the mechanism of the uh, compound or uh, for antibacterial activity so we have different type of software for uh, this uh, docking studies uh, we have here in the department it is discovery studio but schrodinger is very good auto dock is there and z dock is there le dock is there so variety of softwares are available software are available by which we can identify the uh, the binding pattern of our compound with the bacterial protein so what we are doing here in the department in our lab i will give some glimpse only because i know that time is exceeding um, as we are getting late so i will uh, that is why i actually 
uh, go ran my slides very fast so here the first case study we have synthesized the quinazolin and pyrimidine incorporated novel analogs of one fight benzodiazepine in the lab and using the domino approach and uh, one pot approach and we have synthesized these many uh, these many derivatives in the lab and after synthesis of these pyrimidine derivatives we went for the quinazolin uh, quinazolin development and then we went for antibacterial study we chosen uh, two different strain for the antibacterial study it is staphylococcus aureus and escherichia coli very common actually antibiotic bacterial strains and uh, we studied bacterial growth curve study and leakage study for the for both type of derivatives fecm for the morphological study and the pictures what we have shown earlier it is from my study and my paper only so we got this type of integrity disturbance in the bacterial cell after adding the quinazolin and the pyrimidine derivatives synthesized in our lab and in docking study molecular docking study uh, we actually picked pdb of dihydrofolate reductase enzyme uh, enzyme for uh, bacteria and then we docked our compound against this and we found that dock, docking was very good and due to this we can say that our compound is working via inhibition of dihydrofolate reductase enzyme which is responsible for the dna dna uh, dna modification dna replication in the bacterial cell so again for the quinazolin we uh, ran same sort of uh, studies antibacterial studies and finally we published our uh, paper pyrimidine derivative paper in the journal of microbiological methods and uh, other paper was published in the journal of heterocyclic chemistry and in 2021 we received the site top cited article award from the journal of heterocyclic chemistry on our study similarly we synthesized exactly known derivatives in our lab and we went for fluorescent uh, fluorescent antibacterial assay and uh, this graph actually i am showing uh, shown earlier and again we published our paper in the journal of heterocyclic chemistry besides synthetic molecules we worked on the natural derivatives also natural component also so here nearby the banasthali region that is tonk district of rajasthan enterobacter is the culprit bacteria that is responsible for the uh, actually stomach disturbances for the people resides in this area so we received a major grant as uh, actually a school we have awarded um actually water project water project uh, center of excellence for water and from mhrd uh, government of india and we proposed this work in that particular project so we identified the bacteria which are present in the water water bodies nearby this banasli uh, place and it is the enterobacter clocki that we have identified by with the help of microbiology fellow here in the uh, in the banasli vidyapeeth and we uh, chose two plants for the antibacterial activity which are actually growing here in this area very uh, very commonly and we performed various antibacterial assays for uh, for this plant extract that is the aqueous extract because it will be useful for the water body directly no need of uh, no need of further modification so we used aqueous extract of the plant and we performed various assay and our compound our extract passed all the assay antibacterial assay throughout and field emission spectroscopy uh, we have done dehydrogenase protein leakage assay susceptibility assay growth kinetics study and spectrofluorometric study for establishing the antibacterial activity of the aqueous extract of the butia monosperma plant so outer membrane permeability is passed inner membrane permeability is passed and we successfully published our work in the journal of ethnopharmacology in the other study we used the uh, waste of turmeric industry that is called as turmeric spent oleoresin and this 
turmeric spent oleoresin was tested for its antimicrobial potential and this work was published in the journal of industrial crops and products so there is at most need of the development of new antibacterial agents or antibiotics in the in the world so i request you all the new researchers or the young researchers to work in this area it is simple uh, simple work we can choose our leads from different sources as i discussed you and we can go for the their antibacterial potential but it should be in depth then we will be able to actually show or the claim our results to the world so i will end my talk with the statement of william j mayo the glory of medicine is that it is constantly moving forward that there is always more to learn the ills of today do not cloud the horizon of tomorrow but act as a spur to greater effort so thank you thank you very much at with the end of this talk i will acknowledge the support of my lab mates my senior professor d kishore my students apurva mishra asha del shalu sen divya sharma sanjana tiwari neetu meenu shivangi and all my colleagues from department of pharmacy biotechnology and physics for conducting or for helping me in producing these results what i have shared with you so thank you once again thank you all team members who actually given me this opportunity to discuss my experience with you uh, in this conference thank you thank you very much thank you ma'am uh, now i request gautam sir to conclude this uh, talk okay what to say about dr jaya dubedi i was thinking she is from biotechnology but she is now I, i think you are in pharmacy now ah uh, yes sir sorry pharmacy pharmacy no, now actually sir i am from chemistry but pharmacy is my neighbor department so we so are working who, together who was who was your guide ah uh, sir there khan sir was my guide acha 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 khan sir was my guide yes sir very very good Uh-huh. Yes. So thank you very much for uh, your uh, excellent, uh, excellent lecture. Generally, Sir. it was it was in the habit of the scholars that they were uh, talking about the antimicrobial activity hmm. only the qualitative. Yes. They were taking their leaves and specifically water solvent, water yes. uh, water extract, and they are. is giving the material and mm. reporting the results yes but i have seen that you have suggested a very good thing so we can understand the what is the actual it is to be compared with the mm. standard sample yes sir until it is not being compared with the standard sample we cannot understand how far it will be any future neither this is good what is going on yes you have also yes. suggested a very good thing about the serodine and uh, aspirin yes sir even when i was in sagar there was one incident of the heart attack oh mm. by this uh, tablet yes sir uh, as far as the you have you have worked uh, uh, both in uh, natural uh, product and uh, yes, synthetic yes, also sir. yes sir we are and working for antimicrobial agents uh, yeah, uh, it's a, it's from any very, source uh, yes sir very very good uh, it is a topic because mm. there are we have the huge amount of the varieties of the uh, varieties of the plant in yes, our sir. country as yes, far sir. as the rajasthan where banishri is there mm. there is a uh, very good vegetation yes sir we i can, would, in that the project that we have received from mhrd mm. was really for the water uh, treatment and mm. we worked for that and we received, we actually find out very good results out of that okay So uh-huh. not only after getting the experience of antimicrobial determination of antimicrobial activity, we can be helpful in other uh, for the screening of other sources also. Suppose yes, water is there, but yes. uh, here I will suggest uh, not to you, but the uh, coming generation that once I found a very wonderful thing. Mm-hmm. One uh, scholar told me that sir, it is having. Very good activity, more than the standard set. Yes, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So I wonder, mm-hmm. I wonder that. But he, how it happens, it, sir. It happens. Sometimes it happens. we get better activity than the 
uh, is standard okay, okay. one. But, but toxicity is the other aspect to consider any compound as drug. Okay. So, but so, what what does the story hidden behind it? Hmm. It was the story. He extracted uh, he extracted the material in rectified it. Oh. <laughs> so in place of water extract. It is having a very good antibacterial yes, activity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So that's why you will get the good antibacterial activity. Yes, Similarly, one more point in the, uh, to the student I would like to say. When you will use the same solvent, yes. same media, but you are getting the different value every time. The yes. zone of inhibition, yes, MIC sir. will be different. Why? Yes, it is only due to the disk you are using. If yes. you are not using the cup on method, yes. and you are the filtered paper disk method. Yes. So what is the quantity which is being absorbed? Either yes. it is, there are different types of filter paper. Yes, sir. One can absorb more. More. And there cannot, can do. So this, this should be the confirmed. So reproducibility so, will become an issue. Yes, you will get the no. You will not get any kind of difference. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, there sir. are some companies. They are especially in Germany. When I used this work, uh, I conducted this work. I purchased from Germany. Okay. They sir. are having the standard absorption power. Yes. Sir. This much quantity will be absorbed that much. Uh, not beyond that. Yes, filter paper did. So. Whenever antimicrobial activity should not be taken very lightly. Yes, sir. But it people should not think, be. It should ah, not because be. people are thinking that just you get a extract and dip in the filter paper and photo, you will get rejected. Yes. Zone of inhibition and you ah, will get it published. You will no, get sir. the published the paper. No, sir. Abhi but, jase, uh, Dr. Tiwari has told that uh, you have to work hard before well, publication very good, very or nice after thing. publication. After. Because this thing will, you will uh, uh, face after publication. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even in which in the general where I used to send this for publication, one editor wrote me. One of the person from UAE or university are sending one paper one a week. Hmm. How is possible? Oh. No, not possible, sir. It is hmm. not possible. Not possible, sir. So whenever antimicrobial activity is to be determined, it should be taken very seriously. All kinds of precautions should be taken mm -hmm. properly. And you see actual difference between the dried leaves and wet leaves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. You will get something. Different yes. part. Because suppose we are collecting the leaves. Yes, sir. The person who is going to collect the leaf is not a That technical. also matters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is not a technical. He, will, yes. he can take, suppose we will get the five rupees for one katora. Yes, sir. So he will take the mix karo, kustobi, or pant rupi. Yes, sir. Yes. They are not technical. So each yes. and everything taxonomically, we should be very strong. Mm. Okay. So yes. I am very much uh, glad. Sir, I am also, also very glad. After so many years, I have no. seen you here in nein, this nein. platform. And you can uh, collect my phone number and mark karna. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Very nice. Thank you very much. Mm. Now, uh, our uh, next is a very patientful man. Yes, sir. Uh, no? <laughs> Dr. Ajay Singh. Yes, very he is week. waiting since long. And, uh, uh, so, so, he is waiting since long. He is waiting since long. He is waiting since long. He 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 will present his paper. We will find that he is a great scholar because he has so Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Thank, you. thank you, sir. Thank you, Kavita ji. Thank you, Divya and uh, all the team members. Thank you. Sir. And uh, sorry, Dr. Ajay Singh ji, I actually interrupted you. No, no, no. So, the lecture was good. Uh, sir, so, I'm leaving this you. meeting now. Okay. And okay. If you permit. Okay, sir. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for this interactive talk. Mm. Uh, thank so, you, sir. Uh, okay. Now... Uh, I feel privileged to introduce uh, the next speaker of the session, Dr. Ajay Singh, sir. Presently, sir is working as a professor, Dean Research, Dean of School of uh, Applied and Life Sciences, Uttaranchal University, Dehradun. 
Additionally, sir, uh, working as a professor and head of chemistry department in Uttaranchal University, Dehradun, worked as an associate professor and head of chemistry of UIT from 2011 to 2016, and also worked as an assistant professor and head of chemistry in UIT from 2009 to 2011, worked as a controller of examination and MR of ISO 9001-2008 in Uttaranchal University, Dehradun, since, 2000, uh, since 2 March 2009. Experience in teaching nanotechnology, engineering chemistry, environmental chemistry, polymer chemistry, analytical, physical chemistry, organic chemistry, biophysical uh, techniques to BTEC, BSc, MSc classes. When we talk about the uh, administrative experiences, sir is having the total experience of 22 plus years, about like 17 years of teaching and five years of industrial and R&D. Active involvement in research, in, uh, innovation, and extension academics and administrative uh, audit committee, chairman of N uh, NEC for university, focus on all the criteria with special attention to criteria three NEC, framing of ordinance syllabus with evaluation schemes designed for UG and PG programs for all the science disciplines like BSc honors, chemistry, physics, Designed for UGPG programs or uh, uh, food tech, microbiology, biotech, forensic sciences, BOS organized, member of RDC, establishment of new courses, worked as a center superintendent. Sir has signed the MOUs, collaborated with the industries and government research organizations like IIP, CSIR, CPPRI, CIPET, Himalayan Drugs, Wed Life Savers, Rap, uh, Rapture Biotech, Anata Biotech, etc. Books and chapters, so uh, four books and 15 chapters are published in books, so, books on engineering chemistry published by CBS Publishers, New Delhi, and school, uh, a second on total quality management. Chapters, 15 book chapters published in the books of phytochemistry, medicinal chemistry, biodiversity, con uh, conservation, and environmental management. More than 106 research publication in reputed indexed national and international journals with more than 75 papers in international scopus sci journals citations sir is having in, the, uh, in his record more than 2570 scopus patent 22 patents are published and three are under the publications some active participations and paper presentations in 52 seminars and workshop Nine PhD uh, research scholars are guided and seven other being guided. More than 60 PG students are there. Worked in the two research projects sponsored by MNRE and DST. In the Russian project of 24 lakh completed in 2021-22 and six seed money project of 35 lakh completed. Three consultancy projects with the industries. One uh, extra mural project with the uh, Subarthi Han Agro. More than 12 national and international conferences, seminars, 12 FDPs, and 22 workshops organized as a convener. Sir is a professional member of American Chemical Society, lifetime member of Indian Society of Analytical Scientists, Indian Association of Chemical Teachers, BARC, Scientific Advisory Board, USA, Indian Science Congress, and Scientific Planet Society. Sir is the editor and editorial board member of Editor-in-Chief of Uttaranchal Journal of Applied and Life Sciences, Associate Editor of International Journal, Okta Journal of Bioscience and Scientific India Magazine. Sir is the expert reviewer, PhD thesis reviewed reviewer of International Journal, Wiley Journal, Journal of Applied Polymer Science and Emerald Journal, Pigment of Resin Technology, approved research guide in Uttaranchal University, UTU Dehradun, Sri Venkateshwar University, Merit, and Sri JJT University, Junjunu, Rajasthan. The auditor, certified leaf auditor of ISO, Environmental Management System and ISO Quality Management System. Today, sir will talk about the synthesis of metal oxide nanoparticles for use as a nano, uh, so non-absorbent and photocatalyst. I hand over the session to you, sir. Thank you, Aditya, for giving uh, nice introduction. Thank you. First of all, uh, once again, good afternoon to one and all connected in this uh, symposium, conference 2022, which is being organized by the Department of the 
first of all, uh, I would like to express my thank you, uh, Dr. Anti Gautam Saab, for giving us such a warm welcome to me. And uh, Dr. Sarita Sharma, Dr. Dupriya, and also thank you, uh, Vice Chancellor of uh, the Western Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Kundar, uh, who for the video yeah. and it's my pleasure to be part of the symposium on current 2022. It is having a title on exploring new dimensions in the Earlier, the two people speakers, Dr. Ritikivari and Dr. Jirasa. And now, my uh, topic, my session, will be something a little bit uh, on the other side that will be related to the synthetic chemistry. And especially that a synthetic chemistry, which is leading towards development of some new material with the help of. Many technologies. I will deliver my talk in which I have expressed some fundamental concepts of nanotechnology, its application, some interesting parts related to metal nanoparticles, and how metal nanoparticles, metal nanoparticles can be used as a nanoabsorbent or photocatalyst, and how they can be characterized. So I will cover in brief details. Uh, so now I start my screen is visible. Yes, yes. Okay, as, uh, as I mentioned that in nanotechnology. Uh, there are two terms. One is nanoscience and is nanotechnology. Nanoscience is the nanoscience uh, related to the nano size is one to nanometer. Preferably, in which we do the study of some atoms, molecules, or compounds with their structures and different properties. And when we talk about the nanotechnology, it involves techniques, technology, by which we design materials, we develop new material products with the manipulation of molecules at the nano level, and per the requirement as per the application. And this is the current trend in almost all scientific and material disciplines. That has been human engineering, computer science engineering, electrical, mechanical, or physics, chemistry, any discipline, scientific or engineering discipline. Right? We can design our new materials for uh, any construction application by using nanomaterial, nanotechnology. In design, new superconducting materials in design, some batteries, as it was also stressed, because we are having the uh, it's a cycle of the new direction, it was also uh, stressed by the case in the in the past that we should also design a new battery which can be a longer duration and uh, we can use for different applications. And in the recent, almost in all types of disciplines, this is the first experience. Uh, normally, how we see that uh, what is nanoparticle and uh, how this is nanoparticle. First, we take the other side, we take the example of like the hair, the thickness of hair. And then uh, we can see the one billion part of the hair is about men. If we compare like the microbes, as called microbes, or the TV of the animal cells, they are in the micro lens, one to ten microns. Some blood and particles of school that are around 100 nanometers. And then small, small 
and by one thing, the protein will be very, very often from 15 nanometers. So, at this level, technology is of the new molecules for the And probably, there are two approaches for nanoparticles. As I mentioned, that nanoparticles are crystal in 5G, 1 to 100. And there are two products. One is whether we will start from the bigger particle and that is to be converted into the smaller particle by any one. This is the uh, better thing of this technology that it doesn't matter how you convert the bigger particle into the nanoparticle. That's why the manipulation body is involved in the nanoparticle. Another is bottom up of it. We start from the very smaller particles which are almost in the nuclear gaseous state and they are having angstrom size or picometer size. They are agglomerated to give a nano size, material nano size particle. So there are probably two uh, proteins that are here. They can be classified in the top down approach or bottom up approach. A chemical method like some major ablation method, acquisition method, boiling method. They are uh, physical methods or mechanical methods to use some uh, mechanical action students with some traffic. Uh, and uh, like uh, we are having uh, different types of uh, mixers are there. We are having uh, a floor mill, okay, like a VCC, a VCC, and uh, this uh, grandity of this uh, floor. So, uh, in this uh, mechanical method, all the method, the difference is that. Uh, Usually, material, whatever material we have to think, suppose we start from the or some any other material. That is grandly. And further, it is taken in a special uh, volume uh, in which uh, different uh, balls are there and this type and this uh, a very high RPM, those are converted into the uh, micro or uh, to nano And uh, the fact Development is laser ablation. Laser beams strike with the material and those are converted into the nanoparticles. There are some basic methods for the creation of a uh, uh, nanoparticle by using nanoparticles. And then there is a bottom down source in which smaller particles are agglomerated to give a nanosized particle in the range of 1 to 100 nanometers in which it takes different chemical. Thermal action is colliding process from frozen level. As far as the concerns with the application, almost in all fields, they are being applied. If you start from the agriculture, today there is a time for getting very selective biopesticides, biofertilizers, which can be a very effective, and those are. Being developed with the help of the nanoparticles. Nanosensor, nanobiosensor is the crop production for the agricultural processes and the team of agricultural intelligence and nothing in this field. And it is being used to help of the nanoparticles. In the food, we can increase the shelf life. Kind of food packaging materials are being developed by using nanomaterials. Different types of antibacterial agents like two nanoparticles, copper nanoparticles, gold, green. These are being used as antioxidant, antimacrial, or antifungal agents in different materials. Cosmetic of fatty metabolites. Nowadays, it's a very, uh, very good uh, easy production of agents. Which is being used in the cosmetic different types of textures that the UV productions are available in the market. In those points, these nanoparticles are being used in the electronics, the electrical field, different types of semiconductor and dielectric materials, supercomputer materials are being synthesized by nanotechnology. Catalyst, of course, uh, these are being used. Different types of uh, deep loss or a block elements in different composition. And this is what has been the major focus 
that how it can be a better than the earlier materials were available. Nanodorsal. Nanodorsal are especially adorbent materials which are prepared specially for the removal of toxic material or water pollution. So I will focus on the nanodorsal of two applications for uh, on one is nanodorsal uh, and photosynthesis. A uh, little introduction or uh, more introduction about the uh, use of metal oxide nanoparticles. Metal oxide nanoparticles, suppose we want to prepare some titanium uh, oxide or scandium or vanadium or copper or zinc. Uh, you see, what we do, one of uh, what very common methods which is being used here, uh, is that is a coal building. And you can see here by snow. Coal function first, metal salt is taken as a precursor and it is dissolved. And also, the salts are dissolved in the water. It requires some uh, alcohol or methanol. Excuse me, sir. Your yeah. voice is not uh, actually clear. Well, now is it okay? Hello? Uh, yeah. Hello? Yes, sir. Somehow good. Now, hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Yeah. So is a method uh, which is a uh, uh, very important method uh, which is uh, being used in the lab in which metal salt as a precursor is uh, taken and it is polymerized in water, hydronized at appropriate pH, then it is heated and finally crystallization is done, then it is converted to the gel form. That's why it is known as whole gel method. Then it is filtered and dried, and we get a uh, metal oxide nanoparticle. Some other methods are pyrolysis method, iron plasma method, laser ablation method. Let me give some details about these methods. Pyrolysis method, pyrolysis method is uh, pyrolysis, which is uh, more close to that. Okay, in the pyrolysis, really, in the absence of air, at the high temperature, that uh, metal. And their salts are taken and they are in the sense of air and in the sense of inner gases. Those are heated and materials are converted and then some oxidizing uh, agent is in the form of gas. It's blown in this and we get our metal nanoparticle. RF plasma method, it is given to be in which heating coils are used. In which uh, zinc coils are used, and the high zinc coils, very high temperature, get in to convert into the uh, metal uh, nanoparticle. And similarly, the laser ablation method, laser beam using. The method is a much method in which graphene or ceramic based nanoparticles are prepared, and the different modified methods are available for the preparation of. Uh, metal oxide or some other ceramic material. Ceramic material can be used like uh, uh, glass is there, clay is there, those are considered as the ceramic material. Now, coming to this uh, nano -dorbent. nano -dorbent are especially, they are playing the role of adsorbent for uh, absorption of the heavy. Uh, metals or toxic metals which are present in the equipment or waste water. Water contamination, we know that that is uh, this is increasing day by day due to the drug pharmaceutical residues and other toxic materials. And uh, and uh, by different uh, uh, searches or papers, we find that every year more than 20 million still are dying due to waterborne infections to the sense of different toxic materials. And every day and every 5,000 to 6,000 children die due to the water related problem of like diarrhea or some other other contaminants. And all these such pollutants have unique characteristics in terms of size, shape, Surface or factory surfaces. Today, in nanotechnology, the new generation nano are 
being prepared, which can absorb these solvent at very low level. Low level means like the uh, when a, a microgram quantity of solvent is absorbed, or that is actually of parts per billion liter. Due to uh, their smaller size, because they are having the nano size, and they are having a larger surface area, it will be more active sites are available in a given quantity, and they absorb it are very effective. So these are being used and uh, some different functional group are also playing very important role when preparing the nanosorbent. Different types of nanosorbent have been prepared, including acetate carbon, carbon nanotubes, carbon nanofibers, lapin oxide, some metal oxide, polymeric, hybrid, or nanocomposites, they are being used for absorption of toxic material from water or waste water. And efficiency of the nanosorbent that depends on high surface area, water particle size. For example, that uh, hematite iron based every nanoparticle of the length of 7 to 10 nanoparticle size. They absorb any metal like chromium or cadmium, even at the lower level, because lower level is very highly aggregate. At the lower level, we can also absorb effectively as compared to as compared to the nanoparticles which are having 40 or 70 nanometers. So that's why the size matters in the nanotechnology, nanomaterials, or nanodots. One more example I think is I can show you here. That is like 59 saturn dioxide nanoparticles in the range of 20 to 30 nanometers. It can absorb about 70% arsenic present in toxic water in just 30 minutes. So all those are having differences from different papers. I have also studied uh, some papers and differences are given. So, let's say uh, nanocarbon is a very versatile absorber that is having used in the world of very contents. Gelatin or graphene based different other nanocomposites are being used by the different structures and different materials are being prepared for using as a removal of heavy metals and toxic metals. Another focus is on photocatalysts. Photocatalysts, as it is clear, is a different type of catalyst. It is working with a lot of photons. It decomposes, it decomposes the compounds in the present problem. That is photocatalyst. Photocatalyst change the rate of reaction without any its involvement in the chemical transformation in the present problem. That is uh, uh, well known. And these nanomaterials and uh, specifically titanium uh, uh, oxide. Zinc oxide, zinc sulfide, alumina, and some other metal sulfide. We have shown a better capacity in the form of photocatalyst. And when these are being used in the removal of organic contents in the water, it has been observed that they can absorb and as well as they can decompose different types of dyes. From the red, no level coming back to the normal compound, and other chromatic compounds which are present in the industrial media. And some other nanocomposites. Nanocomposite is a mixture in which iron, nickel, iron, copper, okay, uh, they have been used for the degradation as well as oxidation of. Different types of highly toxic materials like arsenic and lead, and that is incorporated in the zinc oxide that have been used for the removal of the coli that is water of life. Let's talk about photocatalysis process. In this case, it may occur in a homogeneity as well as homogeneity. And in modern era, what is generally happening? In a homogeneous photocatalysis, when light, the light is there, these catalytic oxide 
uh, these big particles they become activated. And in the end of when they are having very uh, small particle size, they are having uh, a large surface area. And in the presence of light, so these like cutting off that particles is here in the air, oxygen here, okay, and the oxygen, the results are generated. And these two things are taken and cation dioxide becomes activated. And in that state, it gets the organic content in the form of some hydroxyline, some oxide, or some peroxide. Ion. They decompose, they approach the organic content and decompose it in the form of H2O, carbon dioxide. So that we get the composition of the toxic organic content like dye. That is also uh, we explain the process uh, how the composition takes place that in the such particles, the, uh, how it is converted, the utilized like, like, the layer that is taken up by that in the side, it becomes activated and then some the strong solution to then uh, the the time to do is that we get surrounding uh, uh, different types of cells who are uh, absorbing and different types of other substances are decomposed by this thing. So this is a process or photographic process. And when we say about the materials, how we categorize that the particular material has been developed, there are especially uh, uh, two types of techniques are there. One is based on spectroscopic methods like the DDL for UV material spectroscopy or uh, some uh, uh, DLS technique or some imaging methods we find out. Okay, this is uh, DDL that is simply uh, almost uh, all works and DDLs that we uh, get for a particular reason. Okay, we get different types of uh, absorbents and uh, transcripts and that is. Lizard and uh, or a particular compound that is a particular basis to your in the environment. material. And in terms of some uh, size identification, size, particle size, whether it is a nano size, that is maybe a morphological study confirmed with the top of 10 microscope or 10. Can you from a electron be spiked to the sample and electron can create the surface? The interaction takes place between electron and sample and electron and photons are actually from the sample and the photons are deducted. So there is a simple procedure like can you from a question? And then we get the music. This is the one way of the electron microscope. We are having in the transit university, we are having that can you from a microscope. Of which of the structures are imaginary. As uh, for just uh, read uh, that uh, uh, end of the year, okay, one uh, over here we say uh, when we put it in the fan, we get the way like this. Yes, the way. The first eye, see that the first eye, see okay, that we have to use in the fan, then it will make it open. And then the term, the transmission of chromatography. We also know uh, some physical issues like uh, electron being described sample and transmitted to a sample. It's getting offered. Then unscattered electrons pass through sample and they are detected. Especially the particle size is measured between of 10. We get, as we can see, the material is here that uh, is measured at 10 nm. So that is the scale. That at the time of the scale, how it looks like different types of material, those are the size, which is helpful for this kind of thing. And the uh, feature, how we are going to further nanotechnology? So, really, what is producing uh, that synthetic chemistry, synthetic chemistry, or synthetic material, uh, on what is leading uh, towards uh, the non degradable material? No. But if we have for the nanotechnology, we can design the materials which can help, which can help within degradation of the, some plastic materials, some other uh, non-bedroom materials like PVC and other 
polystyrene, teflon, other non binary materials can be targeted with the help of the nanomaterial which are developed. And today, polysulfates are designing the new material and uh, also we have tried to develop and we have also got three patents in this uh, field. We have prepared a pyroplastic using parali base, base, aloe vera base after getting yellow aloe vera and polyna and four and this of pesticide. It was published in uh, June 2021. We prepared bioplastic and uh, that is having a good strength. Uh, it can be used in place of the bags so which are being uh, taken in the market. And uh, in some uh, special uh, circumstances, it can be delivered. Another we have talked about uh, base like uh, form printed base, fly ash, coconut ash, polyvinyl currently nanocomposite form. It has been uh, developed for heavy metal absorption. We developed it uh, for nano absorbance and it has been applied for absorption of about 90 to 99 percent heavy metals are absorbed by using this nano absorbance. Hello? Hello? Am I not? Am I audible? Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Then, Last year, we also developed another uh, bioplastic using carnivora, using the pesticides. So, different types of uh, uh, we have developed the, the materials also, and we got the uh, patents recently uh, in this area. And a uh, little bit, uh, I can also discuss if time permits about uh, some green concepts of uh, metal nanoparticles. Can you Green chemistry is also applicable in the nanoparticle synthesis. As the principles are very well known, okay, and uh, with the help of the green synthesis, there are some toxic materials are avoided and environmentally environment friendly process is being adopted. This is the latest approach in nanoparticle synthesis that nanoparticles should be synthesized, but with the use of minimum chemical or natural plant that has been uh, started and it involves basic principle. We know that our use of harmful toxic chemicals, second economy, super chemical innovation, reduce derivatives, a design for degradation, even stock and other uh, in terms of uh, nanotechnology and uh, nanoparticle synthesis. Now, what is being done? Like, because I can give one example. Like, we are having uh, uh, some vitamin C based, like, with what we have to present in lemon and other food. You see, we take their waste, wheat, and that is this into the water, then it is scrubbed, and uh, uh, even in the hot water, we can take some extract. Yeah, of course, if the extract will be having some exposure to some other compounds to be there. And that is being used for conversion of different types of metal salts into their metal nanoparticles. So, latest, uh, latest approach is there towards synthesis of nanoparticles with the help of uh, the green chemistry, with the involvement of plant extract. So, uh, nanotechnology involved as well as uh, uh, synthetic, as well as some natural plant in the aspects and molecules. And water is taken really as a solvent. We consider the dissolved solvent, then the uh, uh, water is taken, and then the uh, natural plant actually that is, and some uh, in the form of ascorbic acid and plasmid as well as regular strength. This is the role of the reaching agent in this metallic compound, and then further we get uh, in the form of nanoparticles. Okay, different types of these particles are prepared by the green synthesis, titanium, vanadium, chromium, magnesium, iron, cobalt, copper, and copper. And these are having application in the form of oxide, production of dyes, 
technoxide, we are dealing with in cosmetics, chromium, in absorption of dyes, iron as a UV absorbent, cobalt, copper, these are as antifungals, which are the antioxidants, silver oxide as antimicrobial. So there is a focus nowadays towards synthetic crops and nanoparticles in the air property. So uh, I uh, want to uh, back up with this and uh, thank you to all the organizers, especially uh, Dr. Savita Sharma, who uh, is actually for this symposium. Thank you very much. With this, I will finish my talk. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the very interactive uh, uh, session. Uh, so, uh, now I request uh, Dr. M.P. Gautam sir to conclude the session, technical session of Ankuran 2022 and propose words of thanks. Uh, I think there is a, no scope has been left by other things, sir. How to comment? Everything you have covered. Nowadays, we know that the nanoparticles have become a matter of interest in various fields. You have already discussed agriculture, either medical science, or cosmetic industry, or environmental, even in uh, very interestingly in forensic science also. The some work is being going on in the uh, toxicology. Detection of poisonous substance, metallic poisons, with the use of nanoparticles. And uh, actually, when I was listening this uh, your profile, so if you could have not opened your uh, this uh, video, and I could have not seen you, then I was I was in the impression that you are a very old man. In a short period, you have achieved a lot. Very interestingly, I should congratulate you that in a very short period, in this age, you have having the knowledge as well as the experience of different disciplines. It is very, it is creditable to you. You have worked, uh, you have worked and uh, hard work you have done. You have gained a experience of different knowledge. And as far as this uh, 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 lecture is concerned, in just like a DNA in forensic science, this in chemistry, every research is talking about the nanoparticles. But one, uh, one should remember that the main part You have given the very details of the synthesis. It should be properly synthesized and characterized. You both aspects you have covered. Okay. So this is a good occasion for us, and especially for the student, new research scholars coming towards this nanoparticle field. If they should learn, and if they have any kind of uh, information, they need any kind of information, any advice. From a uh, senior person like uh, Ajay Singh, sir, they may contact also. On behalf of Dr. Ajay Singh, I am telling this thing. Because to make our research work perfect and very good, our seniors can guide in this field. So once again, I would like to thank for doing a very excellent lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, that concludes a remarkable, memorable, and knowledgeable session. Uh, sir, if anybody is having any query, yeah. participants, sorry, they can ask. Sorry. Her. Yeah. Part of the thing, Jilla ma'am. Part of the thing I am having, madam. Okay, okay. So this so, person is not with you. No, not with me. I can check it. Hello, uh, uh, Venkatesh, sir. Uh, I think I think I uh, 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 Actually, I still some more left, madam. Ventilation, sir. Uh, do, some more thing. do you want to ask anything? Ventilation, sir. <laughs> Thank you.
वेंकटेशन सर आई थिंक नो ओके Oh, yeah. really very nice session, sir. <laughs> yes. Yes, and uh, at that time I was reading your profile. It was like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seriously, sir. I'm sure all the participants are benefited after listening you. Even all three speakers. Ah, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, soon we will be organizing next activity and we'll be expecting you all with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vatan sir, for very nice session. You have chaired very nicely, very effectively. Thank you. Thanks to one and all. Thank you. Should we end the meeting? No. Hello. Feedback link is ready, Divya madam. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Feedback link is ready. So I think it is it? it is shared in the uh, chat box. No, okay, fine. I'll I'll share the uh, uh, feedback link in the chat box also and in the concerned group also, if possible. So all of you are requested to fill the feedback links by today only. Uh, uh just just hold for a se uh, second. दिव्या माइक बंद है तुम्हारा यस सर यस सर ऑल ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू जस्ट स्टे फॉर फॉर सम टाइम आई विल शेयर द फीडबैक लिंक इन द चैट बॉक्स ओनली सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू फिल द फीडबैक फॉर्म देन ओनली यू विल बी एबल टू गेट द सर्टिफिकेट फॉर टुडे वर्कशॉप एंड हियर इट कंक्लूज अ वेरी रिमार्केबल मेमोरेबल एंड नॉलेजेबल सेशन ऑफ अंकुर this may be the end of the session but uh, undoubtedly uh, this is the new beginning so thank you one and all thank you all the speakers thank you ma'am thank you both of you okay now uh, i will leave thank you thank you